fool. This episode is sponsored by a new, uh, brand new sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp supports your mental health goals every step of the way. Listeners get 10% off their first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash foo. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash foo, F-O-L. For 10% off your first month. Don't be crazy. Call them. What's up, fool? What's up, dog? What's up, oh, yeah. yo? We got Steve Covino. Right here, Rich. Steve yeah. Rich. What's yeah. up, Steve Covino? What's, What's up, up, fools? Steve. What's going on? Yeah, bro. Yo, listening to you read commercials in a serious tone is just funny in itself. No, you know what's <laughs> funny about it? I'll tell you what's funny about it. I mean, this is comedy. You're an expert at this, but you're coming out of that song. It's like metal with yeah. Mexican trumpets, and then you're trying to be all serious right after that. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're doing your read. It's hilarious. I love it. Hell man. yeah, bro. You know what? Uh, when we started the podcast, I never thought I'd be reading an ad dog with my voice. Yeah, and with the Mexican trumpets in the back. Yeah, <laughs> man. Mexican trumpets. I love bro. it. it. <laughs> Those Mexican trumpets, carnal. Orale, carnal. Got those ska trumpets. Scarnales. Shout oh, yeah, out to man. Voodoo Glow Skulls. They're the ones who did the song and changed it to What's Up, Fool. Oh, that's true, right? Because it was originally uh, the. For your uh, special. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. It's dope. I love it. I should play it. Well, we, <laughs> we, 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 we looked up your um, net worth, bro, on Google. Lies. Our net worth? <laughs> Let's hear what that Six is. Six million. Ballin', bro. Who, I'm Rich? rich? You. Oh, me. Maybe. Six million and nine. Maybe before what? divorce. <laughs> yeah, before his divorce. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, maybe. You know no. what, what they do? Because um, they, 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 um, they add whatever... When you first blew up or whatever money you got at that moment, just say you want like come and standing, so it's two hundred fifty thousand. They just add that to every year, and that's how they come up with this. So they add two fifty every year. Yeah, so whatever like, money you made when they first heard of you. Yeah, that's like if some you bullshit. If you sign a movie for for five hundred thousand, they think they're gonna make that every year. Hold up, so then I you, wish. Yeah, for I, real, I bro. Say, I wish it was he close got potential. to that. Should we be talking about that? Like when it's tax season? Like you know now. <laughs> I don't know what I should admit or what should I lie about, you know? But, uh, yo, that's so far off the mark. It's crazy. Are you going to yeah. disclose your crypto? That's No, that's some bullshit. Yeah, Rich is all about crypto. I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, maybe $9 million if certain, like, shitty little coins blow up. But not now. <laughs> not now. <laughs> no. Nah. Shib. Definitely yeah, not. If, sh if, shib, if Shib goes to a uh, dollar, yeah, we're, we're talking. But, Felipe, there's a part of me that wants people to believe that shit. You know what I mean? But it's not true. Of course Enjoy not. Join my OnlyFans. You have money. <laughs> People yeah. buy houses of OnlyFans. No, I'm starting Los Lonely Fans. Los, Los, <laughs> Los Lonely Fans. Somebody bro. give this man a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Hit up at Los Lonely Fans, man. You want to talk to a dude about anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yo, bro. You want pictures of guys who found their socks? Sometimes it gets lonely, bro. Yeah, little you, shit kickers on. You can't, you can't judge a woman for doing that nowadays, huh? No, like, if dude. these girls make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, and a lot of them don't even do a, a lot of things. They, they'll, they like, recycle bikini pictures and not really do much. Show their toes, you know? Yeah, yeah but would you be willing to put up with that is always the question, right? Because there's always creeps. Like, if you got a beautiful girl, you're dating a beautiful woman, you have to know that people are diving into her DMs, right? And asking oh, her yeah. for creepy shit is what guys do. And it's unfortunate. At what point, though, are you okay with her sending, like, pictures of her feet? Like, do you have a line if the money's right? Because I couldn't deal with that shit. Hell no. I yeah, could, me I could, either. I could. I'd be fine. You, you, you would have to start broke together. Oh, that, that's how it makes sense. Because that shit don't make sense to me. Yeah, you would have to start off poor together. Like, like I know a guy, he has a, like a, a page called Barrio Girls. Yeah. And it's all girls, you know, who like... Um, we're too ghetto to be on Lowrider Magazine. Right, right. <laughs> you know? They belong on that <laughs> website. You know, like... They could have been in Lowrider magazine, but then their man showed up and beat up the guy that the photographer. <laughs> yeah, barrio girl. So now they got him um, OnlyFans. Oh, they can't find a lowrider. So this guy, uh, <laughs> yeah. he had his own uh, web, you know, barrio girl, and he paid for his wife's boobs, and now she has the OnlyFans. And they're both and they broke money. up. Oh, yeah, of course, see, go, because dude. now That's she's got happen. more options, right? Yeah, she's got her boobs. She don't need that guy her anymore. But she got the upgrade. Yeah, and then the ballers, you know, the baller range is probably hitting her up compared to the old guy that was only making two hundred fifty a year. Now oh, making, yeah, that's well, why he's weak. Yeah, and these girls know how to attract men. They'd be on TikTok, you know, they'd be like lying and shit about like what kind of man you like, and they're like going like this, like 
this big? No. And then they go like this little dick. <laughs> then everybody gets all happy. Yeah, my kind of lady. Oh, that's me. <laughs> that was a, a stack she of likes peak squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> little dudes. Would you, uh, what if you knew someone that was on OnlyFans and they wanted you to be on their page with them, faceless, but they just wanted to use your penis? Wait, 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 what? I got like, that. Like, like neck down. They want to see my penis. Yeah. No, no, if, if, if a girl's like doing a, she wants to do a live sex show on her OnlyFans, they won't see your face. They, she just wants to use you. <laughs> Faceless. No one will see your face. Not, not right now, but maybe like tw 2004. <laughs> yeah. <I'm desperate. laughs> no. yeah. You got to be packing sure. though, right? <laughs> no, not, not really. Because um, they, they, it doesn't matter now. Yeah. <laughs> It's a small yeah, world. Yeah. See, I couldn't do it because I always got this thing where you always got to answer to family, though, right? Like, Rich, he'll do anything. He's crazy. He'll be like, yeah, I'll do that shit. I don't care. I'm like, but what if your family saw that? He's like, so what? I'd be like, well, what are you doing? They want only... you pervert. But the, also, can't they identify you by your penis because of the vein structure and all that? It's like a fingerprint, right? Yeah, it's like your your iPhone. That's how I open my iPhone, by the way. I just, <laughs> it's penis recognition. Everything is like to every human, Rich right? Rich has a theory that if you ever did something like this, you got to like put a mark on it that doesn't necessarily belong there. So That's you could always deny. It. If you ever do anything scandalous, a piranha bite. Take like take like a take a sharpie or something and make a couple like weird markings on your penis. So the girl would be like, "So war paint. I was with him yeah, and yeah, he has yeah. a weird thing on his penis." And you could be like, "I don't have a weird thing on oh, my like penis." Glitter on mine. Yeah, glitter. <laughs> when I leave that spot, no. I have I have a mole my penis. A mole? A mole, yeah. When I willy over here. <laughs> like like a mole like Enrique Iglesias had on his face yeah, yeah, in the 2000s yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like a mole mole holy, holy but, I'm moly. Not, but I'm not gonna remove it bro again it's your signature it's my signature dude. <laughs> is it like a big mole it's like it's not a bump. That's a hair on it a whisker huh? <laughs> yeah like you trim it it's not a bump mole it's just a Boink. it's a it's like a tattoo mole it was like some old mole sauce from like <laughs> when you were a kid is that a teardrop bro <laughs> she gets you should send it to the pimple popper <laughs> oh bro that's my algorithm on on tiktok everything is like you know women dancing and then people popping pimples Booties all day and <laughs> booties and pimples I, I don't mind the pimple but i like when they pop them in people's ears so that's a tough pot Oh, that is a tough spot. Yeah, yeah it hurts this dude, more, dude. They went on this dude, bro. He like, he had like a big ass fucking blackhead in his ear, oh. and that lady went in there with her, her little fucking um, two Q-tips, and she got his ear all hot with a towel first, and then that motherfucker just popped out, bro. Oh, so you gave me all hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got a question for you. Is that like your woman's job? Because women like to do that shit. Bro, I'm always like, "Yo, get out of my ear." Shit, my. my my, my wife does anything, bro. If I got a splinter, take it out. Eh? <laughs> Had a more in my pimple, take it out. No pimples. No pimples. No pimples. No pimples. What about... Uh, what if you had a mole on your penis? Have you seen... <laughs> no, that's impossible. Well, how did you get that? Ingrown hair. <laughs> How'd you... Uh... I've had an ingrown hair, bro, in my penis because my hair is very curly. And I thought it was a disease, bro, or something bad. <laughs> So I couldn't yeah. tell anybody. I got the clip. So I just pulled the hair out and it was just a pimple <laughs> and grown hair. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All those wasted. They're like treasure. Not like yeah. yours. They're yours permanent, right? <laughs> My mom, yeah. Um, but it's funny. When, it, when I pull the skin back, there's like a little, like, you can see like a little bit of the mole still kind of like almost like on the penis head. Do girls like pause when they see it for the first time? <laughs> My girlfriend was kind of like weird because she's never seen a yeah. mole on the penis. So, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do, do you do like the, eh? What do you think? Like, <laughs> do you, do you, is, there, is there like a presentation? Like, <laughs> It's uh, drop oh, the pin. <laughs> my penis has two little hands. They have to put on a condom. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you talk about these videos you see. Have you seen uh, skin tags? Actually, have you seen yeah. some of those where they clean out people's ears with like that water gun? My dog needs that right now. I, people, it's, humans need that. Have you seen people like have clumps of stuff Cake in there? Yeah. Have you ever wondered if you have that in your head? Huh? Every like three months what? with the Q-tip, I get some what? little treasure out of there. Oh, it's like chunks of nut. Like, ugh. Well, I heard that you're not even supposed to use Q-tips for ear holes. No. Yeah, you're not supposed to put them in your ear. How are you supposed to get the wax out? Exactly. You don't. It naturally falls out. It naturally yeah. falls out. You ever ah. do that stupid shit where you light that thing on fire? I see. Oh, that I, did. Shit. I did that. My the, girlfriend gets me to do all stupid shit like trailer that. Trailer like, park Mexican yeah. right here. No, I'm like, yeah. If I'm I like, do I have to if, do that? I'm sitting there with please. this thing burning like an asshole. What is that you know? for, though? It's supposed to like pull up all the wax. Yeah. It's got a it didn't work or something, right? It didn't work for shit, bro. I've I'm sitting there that, right? with this I've thing burning. It. Yeah, he brings that up. It's okay. If I brought that up, he would be like, "Yo, that's some white people shit." You would say that in the water. <laughs> right, my girlfriend's white. You know, why I like her, bro. She's Art. she's got the complexion of a tortilla, bro. She's real white and she's got like freckles. The bumps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it turns the bodies. That's like, good. Oh, tortilla. Our grandmas would be using the Guadalupe. My mom would pull like a my mom would get cute uh, like a cotton ball, 
was cilantro, not cilantro. I don't know what it was. Probably mint, <laughs> some herb what? outside. No, bro. A, I know what a, it was. A smashed grasshopper. And she put alcohol and make it, make, make it like a ball. And man, and it put it right in my ear, both of them. Swear to God, bro, my grandma, my grandma, it was from Mexico. She would take the, the green rubbing alcohol, the green one, mix it with weed. So yeah, she would get weed that. from the family members and mix that shit together. And that would be the OG, the, the OG cure, yeah. that with a little Vicks, for sure. Damn. Dude. So maybe it wasn't cilantro, it was weed. Now, would, would old school grandma be okay with legalized weed now? Or she like was that her exception? Like, oh, it's for medicine, Stephen. Like, I think for medicine, she was <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay with it. Yeah. it. yeah, yeah, no. Just throw something at you. The, to rub on their joints, right? Like their yeah, knees yeah, and exactly. And shit. Yep. That was some old people shit. Like the secret remedy. What's yeah. up, fool? Your mom did that, bro? I, I, I've seen the green alcohol yeah. in Mexico. Like, I didn't know that it was a. Uh, what's it called? Menthol alcohol. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Menthol. Oh, yeah, shit. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Ethel. Oh, I, I said yeah. menthol. <laughs> From I Love Lucy. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. I'm shit, looking at man. myself, bro. You got the sweet setup here, bro. Oh, by the way, this this background you have, yeah. is this the new trend for like the what women want to pose in front of? Have you seen this at like bars and clubs where it's yeah. the green wall? The that's green, why they got it. Yeah, with the angel yeah. wings. A woman yeah. designed that studio. A woman yeah. designed the studio. Yeah, it that's great. The, Rodrigo. That's the new actually, new angel wings, right? Night, this is actually a nightclub after the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, if you I said, you ever seen the meme where it's like if you want women to come hang out with you, just paint angel wings on your on oh, your house. Yeah, or have one of those this like for, uh, red repeats. carpet man to hit the fight. <laughs> People get slapped out here. <laughs> Chris Rock. Oh, that's all right slapping. Now. No, man. That's, that story still bothers the shit out of it's me. Still bro. going on, right? Yeah, it's not going away. No, won't go. Away. It's like COVID, dude. <laughs> yeah, still talk. People still talking well, about. See, it. brother, they brought out. They, they woke up Paul Rodriguez to interview him, bro. Bro, he has yeah. to wear the same coat. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him on your show talking about how Will Smith yeah. was a jerk to him. Yo, if. Uh, if you're on stage telling a joke, would you ever think that someone would come up and step to you like that? No, because I'm six foot one and I'm big, dog. Do you, yeah. think, do you think that was and, a factor and, that Chris Rock is tiny? Yeah, yeah. for sure. And uh, my my jokes don't don't um don't um make people want to act like that. My my, my jokes make people happy. People, your jokes make one of people happy. Yeah, my jokes people happy. I've never got anybody get mad and want to charge the stage <clears throat> in a violent way. So you, I usually want, I, I know like before. I remember like making fun of somebody and they would get mad and I wouldn't stop and I just keep going, keep going. And then I ruined my whole act because I, I still got to do jokes, right? Yeah. And I would spend too much time with this person. But now I, if I make fun of somebody, it's usually like a, in a way that um, everybody laughs and it's, a, it's kind of positive, but it's not so much like the person's fat as hell. I'm not gonna call him. Shut your fat ass up, bitch! Because then it gets everybody mad. And right? Oh, you can't do your fat jokes after that. You're the bad guy. So I go, I go like this. Uh, I'm so glad you got here. You, you came tonight, man. I know it's hard for you to be out here. You know, you not used to being around people that are nice to you. You want to <laughs> engage in a violent right. way, huh? I know. This is the first your first time coming out. And everybody started laughing, man. You ever lose track because you're like so zoned in on what you're going to say to that person that you lose track of where you were going in your routine? Or oh, not? yeah, all the time, man. <laughs> That's got to be like a lo <laughs> los, los lonely feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah, you know? man. I try not to um, spend too much time and I, and I try not to like destroy them because then my jokes are not going to be as funny as whatever I, I told them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to follow that. I got to follow that and I can't. Like whenever I see a, a, com a comedian have a video, comedian destroyed heckler. Yeah, he did, but you also fucked up your whole show too. Right. You know, they don't show the they don't show the the next fifteen minutes of it. That trying to get pretty sure it went downhill. You saw Tony Rock getting pretty raw about his brother. Yeah, yeah, man. He was really mad. He I didn't hold back. I was supposed to be there that night. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> I hold back. I was supposed to be the one getting slapped. <laughs> and I heard the the update today was that Chris Rock said he's not accepting any apology. Like, oh, as of now. That's the yeah. update. He got his license to talk shit now. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, because you sell out big places. Chris Rock was up in Boston. That first show, he started by saying, like, I'm not going to, you know, if you came here thinking I'm going to talk about it, I'm sitting on it. Do you feel like he should have addressed it? Would you have come out right away? Or did you, oh, he had his act, right? So, like, why disrupt that? Right. Yeah. But that has to be part of his act now, right? Come on, you can't hide. You, well, yeah. I guess that's that's he hasn't done it yet. From what yeah. I read is that he had his act prepared, so he's going to do this act or this tour. Which will probably whatever. end up being a and special then, or something, yeah. right? And yeah. they're probably going to do this 15 minutes on, 
on the Smiths. He's yeah. got to he's got to craft that. It goes back to what you said. You would he could have just got him back with man. That's right, man. You got to hear my first show. There's black people and then there's Will Smith. Okay, <laughs> right. Did, and, you, and did you notice uh, when after the slap, he for one second. You thought he might go off. Did, yeah. did, like he was like, yeah. "Well, I could." He said yeah. something he like, paused, "I could." Yeah. Held back, and then dude. he was like, "You saw that moment where he's like, I could.'" I'm like, "Ooh, what could you do?" He could verbally destroy. Oh, he could have destroyed. If there's security, or it would have been over. I think. Oh yeah, he's like, "Oh, I could." Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there was a moment where you thought he was gonna because they have so much material to make fun of them because of the open relationship. I forget and I like, where I heard it, but I heard it today. Maybe it was you listening to your shit. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm stealing your shit right now. But it's like you don't call out guys like Eminem because he'll destroy you, yeah. right? Like he'll yeah. just the same thing with the verbal assassin. Well, like Chris what what would have happened? He would attack James Gandolfini when he got his damn me, bro. Would do that? Well, I would have grabbed. Uh, I would have grabbed the guy like one of those little <laughs> suckling pigs from Century House. So he started squealing. Then he would have died. Then we would have made you know whatever. Gabagool. I love it. Gabagool. Don't we'll get Fucking... away with that over here in this neighborhood, Mr. Smith. It's like the Palisades or Thousand Oaks. I love the Gabagool. You know there's a new Gabagool sandwich at Subway, but they don't promote it as Gabagool. So they say a, Capicola. It's a, it's a shame. Like, yeah. why on earth would they do an Italian sandwich at Subway and not call it Gabagool? They're like, the Capicola sandwich. Why, why the fuck um, Subway sells crab sandwiches? Nobody buys that shit. <laughs> <laughs> crab sandwiches? Yeah. I didn't crab even know Crab salad. Crab salad sandwich. Crab salad sandwiches. Nasty, uh, dog. It's just imitation crab with mayonnaise with a little bit of garlic powder. That's a couple of little ass. celery sticks smashed in there. Uh, is there a tuna sandwich? I heard that their yeah, tuna's yeah. not even real. I heard the bread wasn't real, right? The bread wasn't real. That's <laughs> Somebody's they said got minute. some bad press. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I, got, when, I, when I paid, I pushed it together with a cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> I go there for my Probably. kid, to be honest. Like, when she wants, like, lunch for school remember when we were kids well, when i was a kid you you would bring you would buy lunch at school i was gonna say lunchables yeah, <laughs> yeah no i yeah. would buy my lunch now like you're the weak kid if you buy lunch at school like they all bring their lunch yeah because you know and that, it cost me a lot of money and i'm going to subway all the time to buy her lunch because kids are like you know more like you know even though it's not quality it's just not from the shitty at school yeah. right you know I mean? they don't want to yeah. eat that shit where we ate that shit and liked it i was kids. like it, I, I realized recently that when you were a kid they never called it a hamburger at school it was beef patty on a bun right because a beef patty isn't a quality enough meat to have to call a hamburger Really? Yeah, so like yeah, yeah. they didn't call it a hamburger because it's just beef. Like they didn't have to hit a certain level of beef. So you get taco boats. Taco boats. I was crazy, man. Was square like, pizzas. Hey. Square pizzas are my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> when, I was telling, when I was telling Lyle to get lunch, I'd always snatch a extra of milk from that lady. But do that shit. <laughs> Those push up uh, ice pops in the wax. Or I'll grab an extra of chocolate milk from her hand. Dude, these ladies, the lunch ladies I had were like hawks. You couldn't get nothing. The lunch Not ladies the I grew up with, they, they look like they work at uh, Waffle House on the side. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. And those orange juices with the tin on the top, that yeah. shit was bomb. Yeah. But again, like the, the kids today, they don't want, they're too spoiled. They don't want that shit. Where we used to like it. I, I, dude, I used to work those, at a, those soggy lunch cookies, bro. I love it, dude. Yeah. I, used to, I used to work at a school, and so I used to eat like the, the lunch that kids didn't want to eat because they would like have their parents drop them off McDonald's or some kids were fucking Postmates. Kids are postmating at school. Yes, yeah, so I would be like, give me a fucking burrito, dude. Like, what the fuck? I used to teach skateboarding at a summer camp. So I see. Oh man, back when you were at school, <laughs> I there was teaching scavenging. There was never a good-looking lunch lady. I don't know. Oh, no, no, bro. That looked like your aunt or something. No, it was always an old lady. There was, there was one old lady, but you know when old people, like, it's not because they got big boobs because they are they got big boobs. They're just big. So like they're sagging in the mashed yeah, like, potatoes. Yeah, long titties. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's the remember, cafeteria food. They called her. I remember it was like. I thought they lived this, there, bro. <laughs> Old lady named Gladys. <laughs> Every kid called her Turbo Tits. Turbo. And we were like sitting in the fifth grade. Yeah. And like, looking back, we're like, oh, that was like sort of mean. But it was like, ah, Turbo Tits. Oh, that's old good, lady. That's like, like Subway thing. sandwich titties, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Real long. Yeah. Hey, long. Uh, Two foot longs hanging. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, sometimes I have, I have dreams, man, that I'm, I'm in line at the lunch table again. <laughs> and I want to, and I want to, and I cut, and I cut in line to the, with the teacher's. But the teachers eat to get the real food. Like they eat real meat because I know the hamburgers in our school were made out of soy mostly. It wasn't. It wasn't, like, it wasn't. It wasn't like ground beef. Ground beef. Felipe, you gotta have much prison food, huh? Exactly. Like step a notch mm. above. Diced turkey, gross. You gotta have better dreams, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <dream> about food. <laughs> like, I'm gonna the lunch back, line. Back, back at school, huh? I'm gonna dream of running late. No, that all means something. I, I have those dreams too. My dreams are always the same shit, though. Too, it's like 
did I graduate? Yes. Right? Yeah. Fuck, did I study for that shit? Yeah. It, it must mean some shit because my we dream, all yeah, think that. Yeah, I have a dream that um, <laughs> I have not done my English homework all fucking yeah. years. Yes, and, and it's now, the end and of the year. The, time. Pay, and it's about, it's the moment of truth is coming and my mom's going to find out. Yeah. Then I, next you know, I'm, out, I'm standing outside behind a bus. <laughs> and you're still your age right now, right? In your dream. <laughs> He's like, I don't know if I passed. Well, I, I was a like, wizard I, over yeah, there. Yeah, I know that I didn't go to school all year, but, but why am I worried about it so much on my dream, bro? You know, you know what I mean, bro? from back in the day, though. Because I have dreams I'm still trying to graduate high school. Because I graduated a year later. I'm, I was a super senior. Ah. So I fought, because I kept... Super that, yeah. senior. That's what they call those, bro. <laughs> 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 bro. Because I would be a super, 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 oh, super a senior. Super, a, a super loser. There's a super, super... <laughs> Code for I didn't get my shit done. Oh my God. Dude, there, there was easy, a, bro. They want to give seventh play trophy to school, bro. <laughs> I never heard of that shit, bro. Yo, bro, bro, you're super. super I, I feel you're super. That's <laughs> funny, bro. So I went to continue high school because I kept ditching school. So, so you went to school and they gave you a cape, son. <laughs> bro, they gave us credits for fucking uh, going to, uh, for carpet and pumpkin for Halloween. <laughs> they're, they're just trying to get us out. Just fucking graduate, sure bro. You were in the west side of school with all the other kids with helmets and shit? <laughs> no, are you sure this isn't the dream you have, bro? No, dude. <laughs> this was, dude, it was a ghetto high school. That's where they sent all the bad kids in. Uh, it was like all the kids from Rosemead, all the kids That's from like... funny, bro. It was all gangster kids. Yeah, get them out of here. Carving pumpkin oh. class. <laughs> Remember? That's November. Huh? They trust you with a knife? Dude, again? They trust you with a knife in that school? Yeah, like, please graduate. They'll fucking leave. The oldest kid to graduate from a quick kid. What the fuck? He was 23 years old. Like, <laughs> bro. He was a super duper senior. <laughs> that was fucking God senior. <laughs> it's like ESL like a mug right there. Monday? Oh, oh we're in trouble. <laughs> no, we're good, man. This is great. No. Yo, this is cool. I thank you guys for having us. Yeah. And I get to start the weekend early. I don't normally drink during the week. That's like my one rule. Like I start to drink like when I'm done with work. But then again, I, I'm we're always working. Yeah. But I usually start like Friday night, right? So hey, we're starting early. I'm happy to be here chilling with you guys. Shalom. Shalom. What's up, fool? April twenty nine. We added a cheers, second cheers. show to the Netflix the joke show. Um so yeah, April twenty nine. April eighth through the tenth, Tacoma, Washington. April 14th through the 16th, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. April 22nd, Petaluma, California. April 23rd, Santa Cruz. April 29th, Los Angeles, California. We had a second show. May 5th through the 7th, Kansas City, Missouri. Tickets at FilipeWorld.com. You're going to be celebrating tour. Cinco de Mayo in Kansas City. They better have good guacamole there. They better have it, bro. <laughs> the they best. Fuck it up. Kansas City barbecue. Kansas City no. is one of the places where they, they think they're... They're all bad because they make guacamole at your table. Like, that's something fancy to make. <laughs> oh, we make side. guacamole right at your table. Table side. We have a mojajete. <laughs> <laughs> From the farm to the tabletop. They throw burn ends in there. Yo, the first time we went to Kansas City, swear to God, we met George Brett, who's the first guy we met, famous Kansas City Royal. And he welcomed us to Kansas It was like a dream. It really was. He was like, hey, welcome to Kansas City. George Brett's here. Like, holy shit. That was wild. And we ate so much shit there. Like, you ever have a food high? Like, for real? Every day of my life. No, seriously, bro? I, like, I remember. We, yo, we, I, never, I never experienced that. Right. I felt like an, an, like an a euphoric feeling because I stuffed my fat face so much in Kansas City. Yeah, sure. Ribs? Ribs, yeah, brisket, barbecue shit. Pulled pork, everything. To the floating, point where bro. we, we so, left that yeah, restaurant, dude. and I do feel like we floated down the street. Like, oh. I felt like a food high. Like runner's high, I had a food high. I had a food high this weekend. Uh, Butch Escobar, one of the comedians, he, t he made that big ass tri tip hot with like a, oh, like a soft oh. I've never seen tri tip being cooked. Like, it was crazy. It's fucking. Chunk of meat, bro. It's jiggly, dude. Yeah. Like a big old fucking. Like a big cool, boo bro. being cooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I got horny and hungry. Yeah, yeah, bro. Chicken, right? Yo, you're, now your uh, TikTok algorithm's gonna be all. Jiggly steaks. They listen. Yeah, jiggly, yeah they listen. Jiggly steaks. They yeah. listen for Yo, sure. Felipe, when you go to all those tour dates that you just posted, do you? Is there ever any like not nerves because you're such a? I mean, you're a veteran and pro at this point. But do you even care at this point as far as like? Because every I still anytime we host something and there's a little bit where I'm like, oh, we do I got to prepare this? Like, are, do you get any of that at all or no? I do, man. Yeah, I, I, do, I write down the first sentence I'm gonna say on stage so I won't forget. And then, and then once you start, you're... You start flowing after yeah. that. You have to write that what's up, fool, every uh, fucking no, time? I, no, I do. I do. <laughs> God I do. damn, what's my line? <laughs> I write a what's up, fool, how are you guys doing? And then then, then, then the next joke. Because if I, if I don't write it down, I might say something stupid like, hey, how are you guys doing? Or Right, right, right. Or um, throw everybody off. That gets you focused. Yeah, You know what? I got a question for you too, man. I was in Vegas the other day, and 
I was just strolling around, and you seeing all the marquees, seeing who's performing. There you are, bro, in the lights, picture of you and shit. That was and I the Treasure Island. Yeah, yeah. yep, I was yeah. right there, and I, and I was going to take a picture and send it to you. And I'm like, he's probably sick of that shit. That shit ever get old or what? I don't think get old. You get, yeah? Shit, I used to have flyers with my name on them when, oh, back okay. in 99. Back in 99, Back bro. in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. Orale, Orale. Yeah, that shit is dope. What's up, boo? <laughs> what did I do today, man? Oh, yeah, I was on J. Yeah. Cruz show today on um, 92.3 92. 92. The Beat yeah. with DJ yeah. Leslie and DJ Lechero. That fool after 100 pounds, dog. That's the guy you guys had on the website. On the website, the podcast. How do you do it? I don't know, crack, I guess. Oh, yeah, hardcore <laughs> exercising in the past. Well, his dad died. He just went hardcore after that. Because of the yeah. pandemic. Really? Bro. He no took car. a lot of water. That's, that's crazy, bro. He was a big, big marrano, bro. Low carb, right? That's what he did. And yeah. He a lot. yeah. Keto, Keto works, dude. I did that shit. When we were on ESPN, I started seeing how chubby I looked on TV. I'm like, fuck that. So I got on keto. I went from like, you know, like 190 to 172 doing keto in, in a few it's months, not, bro. It's not, it's not fun to hang out with a friend on keto, It's though. not. Yeah. It's like everywhere keto you go. Keto farts. So like, keto farts. Keto, keto farts, breath. Oh, keto breath, keto farts. Yeah. Everywhere you go, like... They become like, you know, like an annoying date. Like, oh, do you have a keto menu? Like, what, what's keto what? friendly? And yeah, it's like the up, monster you know, on Stranger Things. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? But if you're disciplined, that shit works, man. That's true. But props Damn. to that guy. Yeah, I don't know how he did it, man. He's fucking he's skinny. It's a hell skinny. of a commitment, bro. I can't do it. Oh, I gained that shit back, bro. So I'm good <laughs> now. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm right back where I was. After COVID, I just got fat again. So we I'll were, be on a mission. People are baking sourdough bread. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was it. I had COVID Everyone real became bad. a chef. Totally with their air fryers, huh? Bro, I love my air Plus, fryer. I started an air fryer fan page, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you could make anything with that, right? What do you make? I I cooked eggs, but also I, I didn't put... Eggs? In the air fryer, bro? It was bro? weird. Really? I, I, I didn't put any spices or anything. It came out. What's going I, uh, on over here? You, got some spam, man. you get lazy, bro. You get How lazy can you get? Because I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to wash a pan, bro. I don't. Oh, hold on. Let hey, me I, wash the air fryer. You said air fryer. Did he think he was going to say like some type of meat or vegetable or wings or something? I thought you put like, fried food in the or things that are like crisp, supposed to be crispy. Yeah, like right? crispy, crispy eggs, eggs, homie. Crispy yeah. 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 Crispy yeah. yolks, homie. Crispy You crack open the eggs and the food makes eggs on um, cupcake um, trays. <laughs> Make some crispy sunny side odds, bro. Because I use the air fryer as like a microwave to reheat stuff. You yeah. know, bring pizza slices back to life. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big the whole sli the whole large eh? No, you gotta put it like two slices at a time. But that didn't have an air fryer, but that fool would um, he would cook his pizza like this, but he'll put like a bunch of water on the pan and then he'll put the pizza right on top of it, eh? And then close the lid. The Mexican steamer. <laughs> Dude. The pizza slices the canasta. My mom used to bring back, like, my mom used to bring back McDonald's fries back to life. You can't, oh, it's hard. No, no. It's hard to bring those though. back to it's life, It's very bro. hard. It's very it's hard. hard. You guys were starving over there. You starving, dog. <laughs> but on a pan, dude, on a pan, she brought them back to life, bro. That's like fucking, like. That's tough. That's Seven tough, fries, bro. Uh, want some. My mom's like a fucking surgeon, bro. And those hard-ass tortillas came back to life, too, I take it. <laughs> Dude, my grandma would bring like tomatoes with fungus on it back to life, bro. Cause that's okay. She would eat that. If it was in the fridge, it was still good, bro. It's okay. Just that's it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> like, I can't eat that shit. It's got fuck that. It's got grease shit on it. Your mom would try to bring back a greasy ass wet Rick's burger back to life, bro. When it's soggy, bro. You couldn't do it back then, but now with the technology, because the air fryers, yeah, you could, bro. We can rebuild it. A yeah, six exactly. dollar burger. <laughs> it's like Disney, uh, Disney's head, bro. Again, <laughs> bring it back to life. Sitting there in some like little <laughs> freezer somewhere, bro. No, it's like Res <laughs> Rasputin's penis, bro. Do you know that's in a jar? It's frozen. It doesn't have a uh, mole on it, though. Is it that? <laughs> but what the fuck? was a eunuch, though. Rasputin. Rasputin's penis is in a jar, bro. Is that why they porn, keep it? bro? I don't know why to keep that shit. To make us feel insecure about ours, I think. They're going to turn into a yeah. missile, bro. And <laughs> but hold on. I, I wanted to tell you guys something because, you know, we're talking to a, a, a national audience right now. When we do our radio show, I mean, we learn people are so different and shit. We realized that half of our listening listening audience didn't even have a toaster oven, bro. Oh yeah, like didn't even have that. Yeah, growing like, up, I didn't growing have one up, yeah, we had one. Yeah, I didn't have one. Oh, so you didn't have what? The, how do you it, not? Honestly, it's like a split that's thing. That's crazy like, to like, me, bro. To me, some people are like, oh, I'll put it in the microwave. Microwave? I can't. I don't. We have a microwave. Oven. We have barely had a microwave. Microwave is good for like. Man, I used to go to a liquor store to microwave my burrito. And that's why, because <laughs> I used to go to the liquor store. He would sell burritos, and and, and then like. Like he would put it in a microwave, not us. He put it for two minutes. It was one of those hard ones, like aluminum, aluminum okay, from thing. NASA, bro. <laughs> Still have wood ones. on it. 
The original microwave. <laughs> yeah, because toasters was another way of just toasting bread, like putting like eight slices on there instead yeah. of having them pop out. So you're talking about nobody had toasters? I think nobody in Mexico... Toaster oven. Oven. Toaster, toaster oven. oven. Toaster oven. Toaster oven. I was like, nobody in Mexico had those because that's why they sold the toasted bread like this, already made. Uh, <laughs> and toasted, toasted bread. bread. That's gross, bro. I, I was just surprised, dude. I, I never thought everybody that, had dude, a toaster. How you can have cold <laughs> toasted bread. I didn't get it. Toaster oven I in college? Just, we always had one. We always had you know, a toaster oven on standby. I thought that everybody did. I know, Kmart product. The people in the hood, they had hot plates more than toaster ovens. Mm. It was the first hot plate I ever seen was at a construction site. Original hibachi. This was bro. all like heating yeah. up their food and shit. I was smoking crack and I went home with some girl and she said she was going to make breakfast and I said, yeah. Then she <laughs> yeah. brought out this hot plate from under the bed and I was like. <laughs> that's like for a studio. I can't right? believe I got grossed out. But I've been smoking crack for the last four days, <laughs> walking down the streets, farting, and I'm going and going to the bathroom in the streets. But I was grossed out by a, a hot plate busting up under the fucking bed. Hot plates usually has like a roach or two in there. Oh, yeah. Felipe, Felipe, did you tell your wife that story on your first date? No. <laughs> That's a good story. That KBBQ, crackhead BBQ, bro. That's romance, bro. That's romance. Romance. I save those for the ones that get to know me. <laughs> <laughs> the hot plate, bro. She made bacon, eggs, pancakes. Ooh, damn, dude. And then she, and then like she took the oil to the toilet and dumped it in the toilet. Fucking killed her. And earth, that's when bro. you fell in love, the bro. dishes right there in the bathtub. It was crazy, bro, man. Those were the days, bro. We got to have her on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where she's are doing, they now? She's selling um, hot plates right now. <laughs> <laughs> she works at Costco, bro. <laughs> hey, people at Costco work for, there for a long time because they have the years they started working at. Because they're proud because people don't leave nah, Costco. People love that job for sure. Like, I've seen people that have been working there since like 1992. When it was like so Price Club, I think. Yo. I, I have a problem. Costco to me, not a scam, but you know, I went there for the first time in a long time recently, and I feel like you end up spending money you never would have spent before. Yeah, and, but you say that about Target. Yeah, same shit. I was gonna say yeah, same shit. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, my wife get in there, get out, bro. Yeah, but it's like you end up being like, oh, you know, tub of this or tub of that. I don't think I need a full yeah, massager. Yeah, I need a, and like a little Levi's. Nah, they're Lees. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the the Levi's at um at at, uh, at Costco are like the original Levi's that the prospectors. They're yeah. all thick. Yeah, made a car, made oh, a you could stab somebody and it wouldn't go through. It's Kevlar, bro. They're making gold mining, bro. That's that OG like you know OG slave cut. Yeah, you, 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 you unfold them. They're overalls, all <laughs> stiff and shit. Yeah, bro. It made it's like sur- basically Carhartt. Yeah. Made to survive TNT blasts, bro. From back <laughs> it's true. Though. You know what? I I do look around though to see what kind of deals they got. Like what kind of cheap ass sneakers are they selling just for my beat around? Yeah, just to see what they Fila. got. Not yeah. the Yeezys, the skeezies, homie. I look, I look to see what they got. They have some all right stuff, but I mean, yeah, if you you have like you know one of those like Brady Bunch families, that's a place got, to get all their clothes. The croissants are the best there, dude. I got two little kids, and we did not need all the shit. Oh, Honestly, it's like you go there, it's like four hundred dollars later, bam. Oh, there we go. In a refund. Oh, you, that easily, bro. Yeah, easily. no, easily. I'm like, what did we get? Like, oh, a new knife. A little food for uh, less. Uh, the Mexican Costco. You don't need membership there. They jump you in. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the the sodas that Food for Less has. Like, you never heard of these sodas, bro. Like, a sixty four ounce of strawberry iris. I'll tell you the brand that you that you remember. Springfield. Springfield. <laughs> yep. What's that? The Orange. Simpsons? Springfield is a, lo- is a is like Shasta. Even yeah. Shasta. lower than Cat. I remember. Shasta. I remember Shasta. Fresca. Springfield Fresca? is lower than Shasta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Fresca is above both those ones. Is that still like they don't have a, they have a cola, not a Coca Cola. Yeah, they have dude. orange, not orange soda. And the soda orange. doesn't even. It just says grape. I don't think I, my best. dad was a vendor, bro, and he would put all that cheap shit. He would advertise Coke and then put like C and C cola, like the cheap shit <laughs> there, right? C and C. So or he would dude. advertise C&C. like C. like cheap ass shit. It was at that was at Smith's, bro. <laughs> yeah. Back so he would advertise you who, but you'd get chocolate cow like the cheap shit but i never heard of springfield because maybe because i'm east coast i yeah, was born and raised east coast and the other one with oh. iris yeah i don't yeah. know that one as the east coast so you're like a goya foods dude yeah because like yeah grew up in new jersey okay. so some of the brands you know again you have the red vines here we didn't have that oh, growing you up you have red vines yeah, here Twizzlers or what? yeah Twizzlers. Was like, I, this is the first you know? time i ever had red vines here yeah you have tasty case we have hostess yeah t- both and yeah. too Devil dogs, yeah, Entons. yep, yep, yep. East Coast. So it's just different shit. Jake. So Springfield, I didn't know. I didn't know that cheap ass shit. Hilarious, dude. it's cheap as fuck. Those were like seven cents a soda back in the day. 
seventh day. Because like if a lady was even yeah, selling those right like there. by the pool at the park, yeah, those sodas were ten cents and a coke was a quarter. Like so, I mean, there was a spring was steps up. Damn. Yeah, but there was a lot of terrible sodas out there. There still is, dude. I mean, not that you know sodas are bad for you. Where, where'd you guys get started? Or would you guys meet? Um, we met in Jersey at a bar. Cavino had just been dumped by the girl he was dating. She True. left him for a professional athlete. True. And uh, True story. all of this his other friends were sad. They were sick of hearing him complain. And I was like the new guy in the crew. So I was like, yo, what's up, dude? Bro, and that he, was a tough pill to swallow. I was living at home in my parents' basement, you know, barely making that much money. I'm DJing part time. And my girl left me for a professional athlete. Like, that's a, that's a hit to the ego. So. Yeah, because yeah. you can't really rationalize that she made a. Bad decision. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, oh. you, you gotta be like, he yeah, was the only guy willing to the listen. mansion. Yeah, and and I worked in radio. He worked in radio, but he worked at Z100 in New York, which is like I guess Kiss FM out here. And I worked at K Rock New York, which is like K Rock LA where Howard out was. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. worked where hey, Howard no. was in the uh, late '90s, and we just became friends first, and then we both ended up at Sirius XM in like the early 2000s. And we did music shit there. We were friends, and then we got the opportunity to do a talk show in like 2004 yeah so we've been we've been friends since the early 2000s but we've been working together since 2004 so you were there together for like 16 years 17 yeah. years almost yeah, so yeah, yeah bro. we're we're, so we're, we're each other's uh, last year you guys yeah. look young man thank you yeah, we're 90, the same like, age damn, we're, we're each other's uh longest relationship we've we've yeah. seen we've seen uh <laughs> you know we've been through a relationship when, when um when um it's just crazy it's fucking crazy because you guys were out till march 21st when we did that show in new york they were having a party for you guys and um, we're, we 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 said hello to you guys real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, because we went to the serious building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what? That, that, is, that is true, though, dude. Yeah, that was that was, was the, that like going away or the that was a going away party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we didn't know. Yeah. I think I, I went over there and got a couple of drinks. That's myself. like we're not renewing your contract party. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were having a big party for you guys. It was a huge. Yeah, there were people coming in, in and out all day. Well, yeah, we were because we were there from the beginning, man. And yeah. we were uh, we did something called Maxim Radio. Remember Maxim Magazine? Yeah. So we did Maxim Radio for a long time. Then we just eventually, you know, our show was always, you know, relationships and sports and entertainment and shit like that. That's what we gadgets. would bond over. Yeah, all, all yeah, that kind yeah, of yeah, shit. All the yeah. gadgets. Yeah, 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 all the yeah. shit you would beat off to in the early two thousands. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's wild because we think Electra special. Yes, we, we yes. think back and like bo like. What would be considered inappropriate now? Our bosses would be like, "So what you need to do is have women on the show and ask him like totally inappropriate questions." Yeah. That was like in the instruction. Now you Ooh. think like, you know, that's the stuff people try to avoid. Yeah, yeah so the guy's in prison so now. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, you guys must deal with that all the time too, because when we hear our old shit, we cringe. We're like, "Oh shit!" You get that canceled, would... bro. Yeah, you need a disclaimer nowadays. Like, well, yeah, I, I just want to make sure you guys know this was from two thousand and five. Well, I think you could only get canceled if. You, I don't think anyone can can't cancel. I think if you pretended that you were some goody two two goody two shoes yeah. like clean guy, we never pretended that. So you know, you listen to our old stuff, we'll be like, yeah, we said dumb things. We were in our twenties and it was a different that. time, and you know, we're you know better dudes now. But I think it's people that pretend that they're so good, and then they get exposed. Those are the yeah. people that get shit. Oh yeah, you're, you're going around as a Christian, and then you're like uh, basically a date rapist. Yeah. Exactly. Those are the people that get put fucked. up a front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hoes after the show. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, exactly. Let that, like, let that comedian, bro. He was a Christian, hardcore Christian. The John Chris dude? Yeah, and then they went after him for no reason. Well, I guess, you know, allegedly, you know. Yeah. Getting all the Christian knights with their tambourines. But there's always that guy at church, you know, man. It, it, like, the, like when, when you're having a Bible study or you have, there's always that one dude that tries to carry all the chairs back by himself, showing off all the sisters. Yeah, he's the dirtbag, right? Well, we he used to go to Harvest yeah. Church yeah. Yeah. in high school. Guy, and that was just late. Shit. That's why I don't help out with shit, Dusty bro. Dusty Bibles. You know who that is on the East Coast? On the East Coast, that's the... We, we grew up with a lot of Italian guys on the East Coast as well. Oh! Hey, oh, it's, it's always the Italian guy that you knew the whole year. He was a piece of shit. But oh, he'd yeah. go to church on like Christmas Eve and like, you know, be giving everyone hugs and kisses. And it's like, like he was a pillar of the community. Meanwhile, no, you knew this guy was the a He's the first guy who turns around. He's this like, and also my... with you. Peace be with yeah, you. Yeah, also with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. You'd always see those guys. A little diddler finger in there. Yeah. 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 Dude, I haven't gone to church in a long ass time, bro. Like, for if it wasn't like funeral related or some shit or wedding that's a, related. Yeah, that's a terrible reason to go. But yeah. yeah. Probably catch on fire. Yeah, no, for real. Me neither. It's you? Been it's been like. Did you you get the years. host? Did, did you ever like? Uh, last time I went to church is the last time I went to Sizzler too. Are we all Catholic here? The last yeah. time you went to Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 
that, 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 that's a great question you had for your everyone. Outfit, that's yeah, a great question. First communion or confirmation or graduation. Yo, bro, that is a great question. So if I had a big event in my life, right. that by the last time we were in Sizzler. On the East Coast, it was friendlies. There was like an ice cream. I love people. You know, always you know friendlies? friendlies. The, frib, the fribble, right? They have the ice fribble. cream, right? The yeah, friendly ice fribble, cream and bro. like sandwiches and shit. But you're so that's a great question for but everyone to think about. That's watching. You know right where now. you would go though? To Wait, hold on. Yeah. The, did you go to church re more recently or Sizzler more recently? Yeah, that yeah. is a great. That question. is a good one, bro. Man, by the way, um, shout out. Breaking news, man. <laughs> the Montebello Sizzler is gonna reopen. So. Take your graduation photos over there. Yo, I'm Be Beverly. Oh, yeah, I got a confession, bro. I've never been a sizzler. It's all good, man. Oh, good? Like, does that mean I'm privileged? Right now. I never went, Texas bro. Toast. bro. That's the only place that we ever have um, Texas toast. That and an affordable steak. Yeah, yeah. That's a sizzler. all you can eat shrimp. Lops, like, come on. Well, looking Serving back, turf, was, wasn't there some shit like if you went, your kids ate for free? No, it's ground round, like bro. That. Ground round, ground maybe. round. Yeah, see, they got uh, there. If you didn't have a dad, you, I think you ate for free. I, I don't if you know. don't have a dad, <laughs> and they gave fast, you a balloon dog. too. Yeah, <laughs> the cook's gonna be your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible, man. Yo, there was a place on the East Coast. I don't know if it was out here. Kavino mentioned it. There was a place called the Ground Round. Yeah, where you pay you you paid what you weighed. Yeah. Like a kid would hop oh, on a scale, ass. and if you weighed yeah, like ninety pounds, they'd be like, "All right, ninety cents." The other kid would hop on the scale. Let's say your brother was one hundred twenty pounds, dollar twenty. Your the kids Pay what paid weigh, what bro. they weighed. Yeah, ground oh. round it was called. Where's this? Let's go right now. Ground yeah, round. Just, I went to the place with um, Gabriel Iglesias and some other fat dudes to Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. and if you weigh more than two fifty, they give you double portions. They're trying to kill. My Yo, goal was to go back over there and not get double portions. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that, bro. They gave us <laughs> double chicken fried steak, double mashed potato, double coleslaw, double bread pudding. Damn, that's like a butthole prolapse, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, so honest, a three hour nap after. That's what yeah, I'm saying. you got food high, bro. <laughs> you started floating. Dude, you're talking about the food high. It's like when I eat, like I eat like out of bounds. I, I'm in a food coma. <laughs> out of bro. bounds, that's like, yeah. dude. I'm just like a stuck pig, bro. Oh man, I would imagine. Over. I would imagine when you're when you guys are visiting all these cities. Do you have spots you know you're gonna go to, or do you find new spots every time? Like if you're going to Arizona or or New York, Philly, Florida. Like, do you have your spots? Like, yo, that's we, we have um, new spots all the time. But uh, there's places that um, that are go good that we're gonna yeah. go back all the time. Go to. Like this pizza place in Philadelphia oh named Ed's Buffalo Wings and Pizza. We're gonna go back. You a cheesesteak yeah. guy? You ever a Philly cheesesteak? Oh yeah, but I actually prefer the vegan one from uh, what's the place? The place in New York and Philly? I don't know. I forgot the name. Oh shit. But uh, I was going to say that Boom Boom Slice in Philly, man, is off the fucking um, chain, bro. Yeah, but they probably love you there, too, right? So they're treating you like a king and shit, yeah. right? Getting the hookup. That never sucks. <laughs> oh, man, but um, I used to go to this place in Sacramento where they made a ha Before I was vegan, they would make a hamburger, two, two, two patties, and then they put, like, cheddar cheese over it. And then they put it, they cover it over a bowl. And then when you get the hamburger, this round, but the cheese is sticking out like that. Oh, my gosh. What is that for? It's called pedorros. <laughs> no, it's called um, the, ju the squeeze or juicy Lucy's. The squeeze. The squeeze. Oh, the squeeze. The Yo, because the juicy Lucy's a burger with a cheese inside the patty, right? But you guys over there in New York got those fat ass daddy sandwiches. We don't oh. have that over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Grew up we on have that nothing shit. Nothing like that over there, over here. Like, for over here, people be like, bro, they're wasting a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah. No, for they're real. We're killing too many cows sandwiches. Big ass pastrami, pastrami sandwiches. Pastrami sandwiches. It was this fat, man. And I remember telling that guy, man, you, you got to near put no mayonnaise. <laughs> you can put no tomato, no onion, no jalapenos. He goes, no, this is the way you get it here. Oh, yeah, with we, 10 pickles. Yeah. You give me 10 slices. I want my 10 sandwiches. <laughs> That's what they do. You bring that shit home and you, you have like sandwiches for days. Yo, let me ask you this. Of all the places you went, all the cities, all the meetings you've had probably with networks and different things, what's the most expensive shit you've ever ordered on a menu? Probably when I when I signed, my, I signed this guy, he wanted to buy, make a movie out of my CD yeah. in 2008 or nine, And I didn't know how to do no deal, so I just gave him the CD and he gave, yeah. he gave me a check. And he took me to eat in Beverly Hills. I didn't look at the price. But I know that was expensive, man. It was uh, one of those tomahawk steaks. Fuck no! It was a purple fish. It was a seafood place. Seafood, oh, place. seafood place. Oh, but expensive place was the guy in Miami, bro. That that treated oh, us. Oh, at the Satai in Miami. Yeah, it was fucking. It was good. The, his food, drink, dude. his drink alone came out to eight hundred dollars. Yeah. What? Oh. His what? His drink. Fuck. I'm gonna offer to pay his drink because I already bought his drink, his drink, his drink. <laughs> I'll, I'll get your drink. I go. You sure? I'll pay for everybody's drink. 
no, I got it. Then he goes, I got it. And he goes, all right, you, I go, finally, I gave it. And okay, you get it, man, because I'm only drinking water. <laughs> and um, it was like $1,200. Oh, man, no way. It was a 75-year-old no scotch. His, his was 50. Ah, was, that's why. Oh, shit. So, Vishan, yeah, homeboy, uh, he has a, I think he has a place, uh, a vacation house in Miami, and uh, th that place was so nice. There's fucking a band playing fucking in the middle of the water. With mist. And, and I think the the brunch was like $200 each. Damn. For brunch. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It was good, there was a lady dude. playing um, a, a cello on uh, a, a harp. <laughs> a harp. <laughs> they had a mermaid she was right there. In the water. A real mermaid was there. No, actual it was all you can eat, too, right? It was they a had buffet, like. Yeah. Um, Tiny, little, expensive um, cakes and pastries, bomb ass those, shit. Those some cupcakes had little piece of gold flakes, gold, gold flakes. flakes on but it. they also had like a like almost like a gold flake fondue that you like oh. put over your pastries. Some of them, yeah, it was, it was a trip. Yeah, that shit's wild. A bit of elegant, dude. Are you ever amazed at how nice your fans are? Like your fans will bring you shit and do. I won't. We're always amazed. At like, I mean, you 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 got way bigger stuff going on than us. But we're always amazed. Like people will just send us stuff and they're just so nice. And I'm like, what? You, you yeah, notice that when you're on the road, the people nice bring people, you there's stuff. There's a lot of assholes too, though, bro. Yeah, they no, send no, you cakes, cakes, of, cakes, just like cakes or, or a like, t-shirt. Like yeah, different things. Tattoos. Like, that's the weird one now. But oh, people bought you tattoos. You have any tattoos? No, not me. But they, they get that two of you guys. Oh, no one's ever done nah, that. Hell you hell sure? <laughs> no. Unless you got a confession to make. <laughs> <laughs> got it right here. Right? Oh, wow. Some dude got, years, there's uh, a dude out there with a tattoo of my wife, and it weirds me out. That's what? fucking yeah. creepy, bro. That is my, creepy, Yeah, bro. like back in the day, my wife did like modeling, and some guy's like, I got a tattoo of you. And I'm like, yo, this, so there's a dude out there somewhere who's probably like married bro, or who knows what he's uh, There's a tattoo creepy. of my Even wife. Even a celebrity. No, man. How about yeah. a guy... Bringing home his wife or, or, or his fucking fiance or his girlfriend that he loves, they're about to go at it and he gets behind her doggy style and he sees her Sufi tattoo from Dane Cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll throw you off a little You're bit. Right. Oh, Sufi, bro. Dane Cook tattoo. Yeah. She, got she was it. basically on the tour bus. Yeah, and got she got it on Tourgasm in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jay Davis got her. I was in Las Vegas. She got, Gar she got Gary oh. Goldman on her ass cheek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay, they're oh all nice guys. Jay Davis, no relation to Rich Davis. Yeah. But no, he's a good dude. Are, they, I remember, man, that's how long ago. They probably, those guys you mentioned, Jay Davis, Goldman, and Dane Cook. And, uh, and, and Bobby Kelly. What? Bobby 15, Kelly. 20 years Bobby ago? Kelly. Bobby Kelly. 2002. Yeah, dude, yeah, three, yeah. Four. Torgasm came through our radio show. That's what. That's what's cool about us being on your show right now. Because for years we were a platform to to welcome a lot of comedians and shit. So, yo, we're we're yeah, thrilled to be here. Everybody through your show. Everybody, yeah, bro. bro. So now you know. Shot couple Rolo. I'm you. hoping that you know more people invite us to hang out yeah. because every, all the guys that we would welcome, they all got their own yeah. shit and shows now. You Everybody know, Everybody so. has amnesia. Now. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean it's been it's been a year. It's only been a year since we've been out of that SXM that bubble. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. enormous, bro. Yeah. Because you guys had. Mad profile. I did yeah. this show three years ago at the fucking when they were on ESPN. Yeah, yeah. Dad, yeah. we got hosed on that shit, bro. Because that's what the happened? dream job, man. Yeah, we worked so hard to get an ESPN show, dude, bro. They give they give the full soccer, bro. It, yeah. Dude, it was so fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> oh, tell them what happened. So yeah. what what happened was they everything's going good, and then truthfully, COVID. I you yeah. know I'd like to blame, oh, but COVID yeah. happens. Fuck right right and, they, and, they, and they were yeah. like, yo, we love what you guys are doing. They were like going to move our show even up to an earlier time, and everything was rolling. Right, we we're having guys like Felipe on. We we're having athletes, comedians, and we were finally getting like momentum where it, it, it went from like, all right, we're not feeling it to like, all right, we're feeling it now. Yeah, we were on a good roll. And then Disney was like, anyone whose contract is expiring in the next six months to a year, no matter who, don't renew it. Yeah. What the fuck? So yeah. like, we just get a call like, yo, guys, we love you. We don't know. Renew. Yeah, yeah. Don't renew the, yeah, don't renew the contract. So the, the, you know, the, 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 the wackest thing of all was, you know, they give us our severance, they pass out and everything. So I'm sitting at home one day, I get a knock on my door. It's like, Get these huge boxes on my doorstep. It's all the merch for the show that got canceled. Yeah, because they had printed it all out because they had wanted the show to go on, but they got the you know the call from Disney to cancel it. But look, so everybody got a bad break. Yeah, so if you want a Camino Rich now or never mug or hat, I got like a hundred of them. Two bro. COVID fucked up everybody, but that that's our story, you know. But luckily, 
uh, a few months later and shit, after we tried to figure out, well, what's next and all that shit, Fox Sports Radio came calling and that's a good fit, man. So shit does happen but for a reason, Fox right? Disney still? Mm, different, yes, but the same. But the yeah. same, yeah. yeah. Fox Sports so, is different than Disney and ESPN. Yeah. But they but, sort of let us do us okay. more than ESPN did, which is, okay. you know. Yeah, ESPN was like, works. yo, you guys are a little... Tone well, it like, down a little. Be, tone it down. Like, yeah. be a little more sports. Fox is Fox Sports is like, yo, we love that you guys are not that. Right. Like, be more you. Like, huh. I don't, you know. These guys are tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, man. Um, I, I didn't know. Have you, have you ever been watching the Lakers show? Oh, my year? God. I yeah, watched yeah, all yeah. of them. Bro, bro. Best show on TV, I you know? I give Pat Riley props, bro. He started in the bottom, Probably. bro. Yeah. Chick Hearn was telling him like this. Shut up. From being a player to that, dude, and yeah. then to oh See, when God. I talk, hey, when I do this, you shut up. He wrote what? Dude, Jerry Buss is. I, dude, I, man, I, I knew a little uh, bit about him, but I didn't know how much. Bro, it I was, saw him one time yeah. at the Congo room, and I was there like an open micer, and I, you know, I had TV credit, but I was not big, you know. I still had to ask to go up. Yeah. And um, I get off the stage, and I and I and I'm walking, and they 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 they, they just told me hello, like. I guess they saw my step, but they didn't. And there was um, Bill Maher was making out with his hot ass black model. Of course he was. And uh, Jerry <laughs> Buzz was making out with some chick that looked they could be um some high little sister. Why? Damn. They're making out, bro. Like they're eighteen, bro. Like they're teenagers. What right were you there. doing, bro? Fucking hating dog. <laughs> <laughs> hating it's hard. Doesn't, uh, doesn't, don't young women make I mean, you like, young again? I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. I was like, what are these, what's all these old geezers here? Yeah. I was gonna say one one thing I liked about that show is how how and they, they have the open shirt still. How they uh how they portrayed uh what's the name the owner the the ex owner of the Clippers. Oh, as Donald, a, uh, Donald as Sterling. Sterling. Yeah, scumbag. Yeah, as cheap and the scumbag. Bro, dude. that yeah. show is so good. When you're done Fuck watching, you good, go bro. and you you go to Wikipedia to check the stats or check the story. Like I do Find that. Find out who's who. Dude, Pat yeah. Riley. Obviously, we know he's a legend, right? But that dude won. He started from nowhere, like nowhere. you said. But he Fuck. won at every stage of his career moving forward, bro. From assistant coach to head coach to you know upper management, he won. Every fucking level of his of his career and what he looked like to as a what player, he became yeah, to look yeah. like and that's like, like porn dude, star at the beginning, yeah. dude, <laughs> night and day, yep. bro. Because yep. did he look like that as a player? Yeah, he had that shaggy that. look. Yeah, yeah, and then like the whole everybody's their struggle with their dads and like mm -hmm. you know a hard ass and or took off. It was it was crazy. I didn't even know Kareem's dad was a cop. I thought he was totally opposite of his father. Kareem, yeah. so Kareem, Kareem looked like an asshole. Huh? He was a dick, bro. But yep. then you understand it. But then when he came to winning with the young guys, he went. With that enthusiasm and you know, his, and by the way, how too, good bro. is the guy that plays Magic Johnson? Good, Holy bro. shit, bro! I mean, he's good. Good. He wins you like over yeah, because yeah. at first you're like, "Fuck this guy," he, he looks like Magic, but yeah. then he, yeah. he wins you over with a yeah. charm. Yeah. Something yeah. about something huh. about you really charisma. do have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smile. It's the smile. He's got very charming magic smile. How about Nixon though? When they signed him, he was all happy. Oh, bro, that shows. Dude, even like, dude, AC Green, bro, like. It, it was good, dude. It was awesome, bro. Yeah, no, you're spoiling it. For Rich great. is like two episodes behind them. Yeah, you saw, I, I gotta bro. catch I saw up. All of them. You got hooked up. Yeah, I was like, I'm I, I, could, I couldn't go to sleep on Monday. I was tired as fuck. I'm all caught up on that. I was like, one eye was all closed. What was that like, man? Because you're tired, right? Yeah. Tired. You guys woke up at four in the morning for how many years? For well, we were doing radio. We woke up. We, we our show was at seven oh, for a seven, lot of years, okay. so it wasn't that bad. Well, but Rich would be doing double time because he's a pop radio morning guy. You could tell he's for like, yeah. years. I did that. So he's like, high I mean, energy, I was, right? I was doing that shit for years. So. so he would be doing like morning radio shit, and then we would do our talk show after that, and then I do like night rock radio shit. So he would be waking up at yeah. four a.m. and shit forever. And now, now it's where we're at a point where now his just, kids just wake recently, him up. Yeah, just recently. We were like, why? Like, we could choose when we do our our podcasts yeah. and our streams right. and everything. So we we were we when we left Sirius XM, we sort of kept the same time because I guess our audience was used to that time. And we're like, you know, we don't need to stick to that time. So recently, we've been like, why are we waking up again early? You know, like we don't need to do this. You know, you just record it in the right, yeah. right. But people like the, the live stream. shit, the people live like the interaction, right. Do you, I was gonna ask you guys for your show. Do you think that the audience that it's working between nine to five that's the biggest gap where you can get live listeners, or does it matter? I you know what our our, our research says that more people listen when they want to as opposed regardless to live. Of, regardless, well, okay, it's like I'm not sure even close. The like There's a fourth of, of the audience listens when they want. Yeah. I mean, live. Yeah, there's a small portion that love to interact and they're always commenting and yeah. leaving. You know, they're it's like a community. They're you know they're going at it back and forth, commenting. But that's a small percentage of I would say probably ten to twenty percent of our people listen live. What are and, people saying in the chat yeah. live right now? They're talking about 
Oh, right. Food, yeah, man, you got me hungry <laughs> as hell yeah. talking about that. They're but talking about, they're talking about the show Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. No, you know you what? I'm not on that. Your fans are serious. They're totally different from podcast fans. I mean, podcast fans, they want to really tell you how to do the show. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, they're our boss now. Couch. Yeah, they want to tell you, no, but you got to do that show every day. Bring yeah. back this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we, we, we realize that pe <laughs> people, uh, the minute people are, that's the one big difference. When we started doing Patreon and the podcast, people that are like, when you're not behind SiriusXM or iHeart or something else, when you're doing your own thing, People love to really tell you like what you should do, <laughs> and I, it's it's wild to me. They're like, I see your producer list now. Yeah, no, it's honestly. They would you agree that people? Well, think it's because they're paying for our podcast is on Patreon. Yeah. So when they're paying, you know, they 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 go directly to you with their issues. <laughs> you now are customer service, yeah. and you got to tell that line like, exactly. Yo, I'm grateful you're it's, subscribing. It's a whole different like, scene, man. Yo. Let, me, let me see how much you paid. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, I mean, like, well, what tier are you on? It's a grind, yeah. man. It's a grind. No, honestly, it's like there are people that well, they like to. If we, we never, we rarely take off. Like if we are even off one day or take a little break or we're, yeah, we don't do a long show. There are people that love to bitch and complain. People are oh, demanding. Man. And it's they also wild. More. It's wild for us too because it's like here's what we did professionally. Like we dedicated our entire fucking life doing radio and now you know everybody and anybody has a show you must feel the same way where you know you're on the stage doing comedy but all these fuckers are on tiktok doing the same shit with all these viewers right so yeah. the game has changed you just Changing. gotta adjust yeah it yep. changed completely the gardener's blowing up on tiktok <laughs> yeah i know yeah, for man. real we had a we had um we had uh what's her name from from nbc ashley devaya alicia, alicia devaya and she was telling me that when um as soon as like twitter hope started some of the old like, old, old um, newscasters, I'm not going to tweet, mm -hmm. but they were like in their 50s, right? But when Twitter started, yeah. they're, they're either gone, but they're, out, they're tweeting now. Yeah. No, they have to. They have to. I find it wild because I, th I think I, said, I saw something where late night TV hosts like Fallon, Kimmel, Colbert, those guys have little influence compared to people that are streaming and doing things like yeah, podcasts crazy. podcasts and youtube streams and stuff like that that have millions of people have yeah. more viewers and more listeners and more influence than a late night tv show like in 1978 probably if you were you were not too nice show you became a star yeah overnight if, overnight if he welcomed you to the couch yeah, yeah. if carson welcomed <laughs> yeah. you and yeah people saw you but even if you didn't even if you just sat on the couch you'd become a star still yeah you're headlining all over the country there's only like what five channels back then there's no key yeah. right. so everyone but now if you're on uh, joe rogan and your your personality shines you, you, fucking, you could be famous but like, like doing oprah I can't yeah. tell you who was on fucking Jimmy Fallon last ever comedian or you know I I don't know I don't know. No. You know? The, the last thing the he only talked to the band, bro. They did the Chili Peppers <laughs> Honestly, this yeah, week. The, the only thing I've heard about either one of them, and I'm sure they're great, is that they switch places on April Fool's Day. Yeah, they, they, do like, they do a lot of karaoke. I didn't, I didn't yeah. notice. Yeah. What was that moment for you though? Like you know, as a kid and as a comic growing up, the Tonight Show was the beacon, right? Growing HBO up, was it like specials. HBO specials? I was, yeah. saying, was it like Arsenio or some shit? Arsenio, like, yeah. That would have been the goal, right? No, for me growing up, I think every HBO special, but people want it. HBO special, yeah, it still minutes. still has a ton of clout, but then now uh, Netflix yeah. the came prestige. the picture, right? Oh yeah, now Netflix the big. Because remember, even before Netflix, it was what in between HBO and that was Comedy Central. Yeah, it was now, Comedy Central or HBO, right? That yeah. was sort of, HBO was sort of had a little more clout. You put yeah. what you got like a half hour comedy, spe uh, a half hour an hour on Comedy Central right. or the HBO special. And you always had like what Showtime at the periphery. Yeah, Showtime, yeah. Comedy Central right. and it goes straight yeah. to well, like right. internet, right? And, and then you can't it. watch it again. No, back in the day, back. Comedy Central show your special once, and that was it. And I would, I would try to boot. You would download. I would download that shit though illegally. I would get like Pablo Francisco. Yes, he did a special was. back then. Uh, That's a killer. Ted one. Alexandro. You remember that one, bro? Ted Alexandro. All those dudes from the Comedy Central specials. I would discover well, those. There's dudes. some dudes that I like, did Comedy Central special and they just disappeared. Like my friend Gene Pompa, he did a half hour special, gone. Right, Johnny Sanchez, the devil did one too. Gone. But it's because, like you said, they only showed it once, once, and it's like you have to like be ready to watch. Like nobody wants to fucking be told like when to watch on schedule. I feel you know. And that's the freedom of like internet now, right? Yeah, yeah. podcasts. Yeah. I always wonder though. I feel like, do, do you feel like you're wondering where to? You don't want to waste your jokes because there's no waste of it. But I mean, like, I feel like there's people give away stuff sometimes on a tweet or on a, a quick TikTok video where I'm like, yo, that could be part of a special. Yeah, or a job, or they're doing radio and they give away a bit. Yeah. Me, I don't care. I'll do it on radio. I'll do it yeah. on stage the next day. 
Yeah, different are, are people doing Felipe impressions on on TikTok, bro? I, um, oh yeah, they are. Man. Do you like that Sounds. shit or no? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be weird. You're in bed looking at that shit. I, I never googled myself in some place. Like I googled myself. I didn't Google myself. I look. I searched my name on Reddit. Yeah. And I never do that. And uh, man, it's all different stuff. Like <laughs> most of the, a lot of people from Reddit know me only from the Eric Andre show. That is and then funny, people bro. write down. He's the he goes. He's the comedian too. You twit. You know they're arguing with each other. <laughs> Or even you know, people only know you from Superstore because I've seen uh, I want one video we did that went viral. People are like, oh, that's the guy from Superstore. And there's people commenting, his name is Felipe. He's a funny comedian too, and it's crazy. Yeah, but your shit, your, uh, like when you guys did the Loteria thing recently, when you're oh, yeah. posing, that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. You're the mermaid, like that shit, shit goes funny, viral. Dog. That shit was funny as hell. So I'm sure a lot of people are seeing it no, where they hadn't get, seen it before. You gotta get uh, you gotta think of what 10 to 20 second chunk of comedy you have that could be something people lip sync on TikTok. That's like a big thing. Like, yeah. you know, he, he did the, we did the video of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock two minutes after the slap. Oh, so you were quick to it. Quick. We, were, we had a stage and we did it. Oh, wait, shit. I did see that. I say, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. We were like, we got to do this now. We have a stage. Let's take advantage. And then it's funny. People saw, I saw comments. People saw our fucking parody before they saw the actual video. I bet. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah, that dude. shit is so funny. I, I'm just I'm just connected to the dots now. I remember seeing that being like, yo, is he there like some in people, the studio right now doing this? <laughs> there were some people, you know, like from Pomona who didn't see the slap and saw our video first. Hey, that will happen to Will Smith right now. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that. Yo, you, dude, we were on Fox Sports Radio at the time. We were on live. And what you know, gonna happen, bro? Yeah. It's so it's so weird, bro. Because we're doing like a real radio show, and we go, "All right, we're gonna go to the news." Steve Desayer with the news, right? And some yeah. news guy comes in, he's like, "All right, well, <laughs> yeah." He's like, well, "The Lakers are down, blah blah blah." And by the way, and he kicks in, he's like, "Will Smith just slapped Chris Rock." We're like, "What?" <laughs> in the middle, of, you know, in the middle of a real live news <laughs> like, you know, segment. Yeah. Everybody was talking about. We're it. like, "What the fuck?" Um, Lisa, uh, Lisa and I were driving, and we heard um. You know, Richard Blade from the 80s. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. By now, you had heard the slap around the world. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he goes into an 80s song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here is Flock of Seagulls. Right. <laughs> slap of Seagulls. And I slap. Yeah, I'm trying I to slap think. so far. <laughs> what do you think? Of, you ever done something like that where you were that embarrassed and you had to go home and, and you oh. relive it over and over? You just regret it? Oh, that's a good it's question. It's hard to shake it off. Yeah. You ever do something like that? Was missed type of thing or something Fuck. close where you were like embarrassed? Oh yeah, yeah right, right, I've, gotten in, I've gotten in uh, fights with my my ex. But... No, you said some dumb shit to oh. your ex's your ex wife's friend, and it made no sense. Bro, I got so drunk, bro. I was I was <laughs> you know it was like a sushi night with the girls or some shit, and I just happened to be tagging along, and I was like, I don't like sushi. I was just there, so I'm like fuck it, I'm just in a drink. So one of my ex's friends, really attractive. And, you know, I'm just, I'm being good, though. I'm not yeah. being creepy or anything until, <laughs> until she says, does anyone want my sushi? And I don't know what the fuck I was thinking in this moment because I'm drunk. I go, I'll eat your sushi. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't even know what the fuck that means in a sober yeah, state. Sushi. Yeah, no, but, but I, thought that might be, you... I thought that might be innuendo and funny and might get a laugh. I don't even know what I was thinking. Didn't get a laugh. His ex-wife was like, Did fun. you grab her crotch with your toothpick? <laughs> with, 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 with I should have. I should have. I, I was like, I'll Squeeze eat your sushi. Yeah. You and bro, like, every... How'd you say, though? I'll, I'll eat your sushi. Or She's I'll... like, anybody want my sushi? And I went, I'll, I'll eat your sushi. But okay, I thought what it happened? Was creepy. Cre uh, anything that I thought was going to be funny, the exact opposite. <laughs> fire. Yeah. And it was like, I was the creepiest guy around. Like, everyone started yelling at me and shit. And I was like, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah. But no, I've had, usually most of these stories have to do with my previous life and relationships. So, you know, I, I yeah. got into some bad should, fights. Not it. with my ex-wife, like with friends. And her, because like I'm defending her and shit like oh, that. Yeah. You know my buddy Spot, yeah, with the beard, the beard, our yeah. producer. He fights like a woman, and, and you know what I mean by like he don't hold back. Like where where a regular guy like you, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, yeah. fight. Oh. No, but you wouldn't fight with my wife. Yeah, You'd no. be like, yo, you know, like you, you I'm might walking pull me away. Aside and be like, yo, yeah. like your wife. You know, yeah. you know, like I'm sorry. He would engage and fight, and shit would escalate and step up. And I remember one time shit blew up in Vegas, and it was embarrassing as hell. Yeah, they, walked, just they walked there, like, out. Like you ever have? You're like, yeah. They walked out. We were, all sit, we were still, we were all just still sitting on the bill and having coffee or some shit. And his ex-wife stormed out, which means he had to then like. Yeah, oh, yeah, see you later again. yeah, yeah those moments are weak. 
I mean, it's not a yeah, slap in the face at the Academy Awards, I but my bro- <laughs> you know, I slapped my brother on Thanksgiving. Day. You attacked oh. your brother on Thanksgiving? <laughs> but it was a fast slap, like nobody really saw. <laughs> oh, you're quick like that. Like, <laughs> Oh, it was a punch? It was, it was a, a punch. Well, uh, a little, hey, 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 what do you mean? Oh, what are you, like a ninja? How fast? You guys were like, kids? Yeah. No, I was like 20 something. Oh, shit. What happened though? Why? No, my, my brother had made fun of my lady at the, some, at the same That's time. That's it, yeah. Then everybody, everybody laughing. Oh. My dad laughing, everybody laughing. Damn, so, there's, all, everybody oh, laughing. there's a Will Smith <laughs> moment. I, I gave him a little right. Wow. Felipe Smith. Felipe Smith, bro. Oh, damn. Smith Barza. Wow, dude. Yeah, man. And he just, he, that was it? He just took it? He took it like a soldier. <laughs> did he still eat turkey after? <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah, I can <laughs> see, look, li- certain lines shouldn't but be crossed. But that picked up his plate and went to eat somewhere else, but fuck <laughs> that, dude. The thing is, it's context, bro, yeah. right? And that whole that whole Will Smith Toby, story was context. No context. Yeah. yeah. But that was context right there. The, the thing I thought about was that Too Short song. Ball head bitch need some dookie braids. <laughs> 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 That's funny as hell. Yeah, yeah that's a, me, that story but won't the go amount away. of people that put in their two cents in though. Oh my everybody. god, everybody! My everybody mom. got in trouble, man. If you if you went to if you fucking shook Will Smith's hand at the party, they went after you. It was a mountainside. It was a bad luck too, because like an hour later, he was getting jiggy with it at the after party. Like he just showed very little care. His own son. At that, yeah. but at that at that point, what could he do? You got to carry on like nothing happened, right? Well, it's almost like you got to own it at that point. Uh, like, yeah. I did not beat my wife. Oh. <laughs> That's wild. That was it was that was a that was probably the craziest shit that happened. I, I'll be honest, I I am one of those people that probably didn't even realize the awards were on until that happened. Oh, same here, bro. I was like, oh wait, that's right, the Oscars are. Will Smith reminded me of one of those dudes like my dad. Like he could hang out with his friends, drink in the living room, and then go beat up his kids for yelling and screaming, and then go have another beer. And nothing happened. They, like, but you can hear that he <laughs> fucked them all up. Yeah, like up. he was fucking them all up. up. We, we actually, like, we oh, actually my dad, are criminal. My dad would like be drinking with friends, right. and then like I'll break a window or something. Yeah, and then he'll Beat go in ass. there. You, you hear bouts and bitchy cabron puto, and you hear the kids screaming. And then you hear my dad laughing again with his friends. He's doing gritos right after. Yeah, yeah dude. playing accordion. <laughs> yo, we, we, <laughs> accordion hero. <laughs> so, yo, yeah. we talked about this shit today on the podcast. We were saying on the Patreon, we were saying how. Parenting now oh, so yeah. different. You can't generation to generation. Like no one's, no one's even no, spanking kids, hitting kids. None, none of that's gonna. None you of that's canceled, going down, bro. Like, yeah, but some kids but, need a need a little something. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Like when, especially like a little boy when he's like a preteen teenager and he's testing his limits. Like you can't give him a little, like, eh, a little, a little. You know, I mean, yeah, you, you, you can't pants him in front of everybody to embarrass him. Don't even worry about it, dude. The but cops like, will discipline him sooner or later. Yeah, that's you know what, true, <laughs> right? You learn the hard way. Yeah, you said pantsing. There was a kid. Handsome. There was a kid in my school that I don't think he ever recovered. We were probably 11, 12 years old. He was on the playground. We we're all playing kickball. Some kid went behind him, pantsed him. He was wearing like red briefies, like red briefs. And instead of pulling his gym, like his sweatpants up real quick, stay there. He, froze. he just covered. He, he just stayed like this, and just kept looking around. Never pulled up his sweats. That kid for the rest of his life, like junior high, high school. I don't think he. Re- I don't think he. Yeah, yeah. Pulled, I don't Still. think he recovered. That kid. I think his whole reputation that moment ruined him. What they call him? Pantsies. Pan- that, that, I don't even know. No one ever even called <laughs> him. He was just out. No, no one ever called him again. His yeah, life, was, his life was, was over. Handsome. Speaking of this, man, is something really <laughs> stopping you from being happy? Is something preventing you from achieving your goals? Will you pants as a kid? <laughs> Check out our new sponsor, betterhelp.com slash food. Mental health is so important. It's caring for yourself. Life isn't easy. Sometimes you need someone to talk to, someone to listen to, to you and help you guide you. You know, sometimes you know you can't go to friends, man, like, because they literally want to throw it in your face. Oh, dog, remember that one time you came crying, bitch? <laughs> and, and less than 48 hours, you can get masked up to your own licensed professional therapist and start communicating big dog start living a happier life today as a listener you'll get 10 percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash fool join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health again that's betterhelp.com h-e-l-p.com slash fool your cousin called it right betterhelp.com yeah for uh, real she called and uh she's better nice She's getting better. Is she the one that was a he? Hey, whoa, bro. Hey, I got to hey, keep the secret she, here, bro. She, she, she. <laughs> I always say vatos don't. doesn't know yet, bro. I always <laughs> say vatos don't cry, bro. Vatos don't cry until they drink too much. Yeah, then they're like, ha, ha. When the Raiders lose, they. Yeah, when the Raiders, the Raiders lose. move again. <laughs> 
What do you think about the Lakers? Like, not even competing. Like, bro, bro right now, bro, it's a good time to get into a Laker game with Clippers ticket stubs. <laughs> they're probably letting you yeah. play right now, right? They yeah. lost. They're like they they have forty two losses. I think it was over yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. they're eliminated from but the playoffs. Like, it's not officially. like they. Well, not like, no, 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 for real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not yeah. like they. It's not like they made the playoffs as like. Are a they low all seed. hurt or just suck? No, they, they just suck. They just bad. have a lot of internal problems, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. It's, and LeBron's yeah. obviously taking the blame. He's taking the hit. So, but it's it's, just, it's wild to think that ten of fifteen teams in each conference make. The playoffs, but baseball they're not starts one tomorrow. Of the, they're not one of the but ten. They, that, I mean, like, just the guys that they have alone could have broke that just by like you know cooperating. Just make correct. It happen, uh, that's what I thought too. Ego and go in inner fighting, man. I don't. I don't know, know, I don't know what's going bad. on. There, Where's Jerry Buss when you need him? Exactly. You guys like baseball or what? Oh yeah, yeah man. You Dodgers guys, throw Dodgers. your dogs. We went to a Dodger game last week. A ca- camel. They back start the against season the starts tomorrow, yeah. so I'm excited about that shit. You a Dodger game? I'm a Yankees guy. You Mets, Mets. Yeah, yeah. we're East Coast. Yeah, I like the but Mets you know what? Well. The Dodgers. But the Dodgers lineup's insane, bro. So yeah. well, the, what's the name saying is that they're gonna take it? So yeah. I mean, but I don't know. That's uh, that's reminiscent of when the Lakers had Gary Payton. And all dude, just give us give us a championship. Yeah. And they didn't win that year. You know exactly. Mean? So it's like I don't know. It's pretty bold. Yeah. When you go to a Dodgers game, you're pretty recognizable. How many? Oh, yeah. Like, like, is it relaxing or like every inning people are like yo Felipe like selfie every like, inning man. Especially a camel back in Arizona. Huh? Yeah, oh, that was yeah. crazy, dude. You threw out a first pitch yet? Yeah, I threw it out in 2010 when the one that's coming stand. Oh, nervous farts or what? Bro, I was fucking <laughs> practicing the day before, and it's farther than it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I wanted to throw, and I threw a knuckleball because I wanted to throw a knuckleball. But did you really? Though? Hell yeah, and yeah. I didn't reach the plate. You were practicing for like a whole week before that. It, it bounced it. on the plate. Oh, bro. Yeah, um, man. man. You took your I'm one sorry. opportunity to throw a knuckleball, bro? <laughs> I had to, bro. <laughs> my best pitch. First pitch opportunity. I'm going to go with the knuckleball. You look like you would have th- thrown a throw Dennis Eckersley. I would have had to. Yeah, I would have put some a mustache on everything. everything. So, yeah, I would have put on a mustache and, and went for it. Some Sandberg. No, definitely. Yeah. Like it was like a try it out. Yeah, yeah. no, because the, the knuckleball's a risk. That's what I'm saying. In front of all those people, bro. I was practicing the, to, for two days straight. Yo. Yo. Some thrust that, on that thing. But then if you nailed it, though, they might have like been like, yo, let's talk. Yeah, <laughs> just, just stay in the dugout, bro. Bicep in the outfield. Uh, yo, do you express much... that shit though? Like when you're nervous about some shit like that, right? Like, do you express that shit to your wife? Like, yo, I'm real nervous about that pitch tomorrow. Like, oh yeah. How... So she's got to hear all that shit well, all the time. I mean, if you're a man, if, if you don't tell everything, everything to your wife, you're gonna go crazy somewhere, man. Yeah. You're gonna tell the wrong person. That person gonna use it against you. Yeah, some other guy's wife. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. No, because I'll say I, I'm like I feel like shit. Like, and I'm actually going to the doctor tomorrow because I do feel like shit. Right? Maybe we should call better help doctor. Uh, you know, <laughs> they might have I should, state. I should, yeah. yeah, no, I think Kimi, it's something. Like, like, oh, I haven't chest. been. Like, do you pull a muscle? I haven't been 100 percent since bro. COVID, and I got that shit in October, so I'm good. Don't worry about it. But uh, like, I'm always like, I feel like shit. My my girlfriend's to the point where she's like. You always feel like shit. Like she's always hearing my shit. So now I'm like, maybe be... that's permanent. Maybe you just hit an age. Like you, like you hit an age. Yeah, like, maybe well, you since Sarona, just... it's like every Monday or Tuesday. I'm like, mm, so See, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Bro. Until we come back. Huh? Is that, yeah, dude, is that I the was new? Like a two day buffer. Yeah. Is that the like, new normal, right. bro? We all feel like shit now. Are the kids looking weird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we just keep getting COVID over and over. Dude. Did you guys? Yeah. Got yeah. Every you guys? Shape, uh, you guys got the vid like last year or the year I before? Got fucked up, dude. Bro, yeah. I lost my hair. Like, I got COVID dick. I got like all every side <laughs> effect. COVID dick? I think it's, I did. I don't know. I didn't have COVID <laughs> toe, but I had an ingrown toenail. I had COVID <laughs> elbow. Like everything that could have went. I was in the hospital for seven days, bro. Are you serious? Yeah, I had COVID bro. hemorrhoids. Yeah. I had COVID, COVID hemorrhoids. hemorrhoids. Yeah. I trip out like on the dudes that are all in shape and shit. And then, like, I mean, if it's some fucking no, bro. couch potato, I get it. And then COVID dick. Did you get a mole? No, not? but they no, say okay. you're, you're, some people were shrinking <laughs> afterward. Yeah, is it true? So I'm like, what? all right, man, I finally recovered. I had the, the oxygen machine and shit. But three months later, all of a sudden, my hair started oh falling out. Oh, my God. Out. Yeah. You're lying. Speaking of oxygen Ask machine. Yeah. Hey, speaking I of... Just started growing back, bro. Yeah, just started growing back. Speaking of oxygen machine, there was a lady yeah. that went, came to our show. Yeah. And she brought with her six extra tanks. Dedication. Did you see, see her? <laughs> yeah, dude, I thought she was going to go scuba diving. <laughs> Me too, bro. Yeah, bro. I thought, what is going on? When here? I saw her, are you going to blow the place when, up? When she showed up. Are you sure that wasn't I, your show at SeaWorld? When I saw her ass <laughs> with all those tanks, I was and, like, and I was like, man, this bitch is going to try to walk up to it and ask me if she could sell balloons. <laughs> <laughs> 
I saw Paul Pena. Paul Pena. Paul Pena. I swear to God, dude. I thought her next question was, can I sell balloons after your show? I got these balloons that say fool on them. Yeah, he's I doing a show at Party City, bro. That's why. <laughs> Seven <laughs> tanks, bro. That's crazy. Just That's in funny. Case. She's like Bruce Willis and Die Hard, huh? That shit's funny. God, damn, she was fucking dude. right there. Ah! <sighs> Pass me a tank, homie. <laughs> Oh, that was that was, my my point was like I had every possible side effect. Was it like it was so I got it so bad that I probably did get COVID dick, but that was a real thing in the news where people were saying that they lost an inch. I'm just joking. Well, but I mean, you? I think I'm not sure. You know, like I got a rebate. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. I hope it's it goes back. Lose weight, my penis gets longer because I lose fat right here. They say for every forty my pounds, pounds, every forty pounds you gain an inch, bro. Is there COVID vagina? What? COVID? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's the smaller one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, bro. You fall you, in the vagina <laughs> a ski mask. Uh, the walls are closing in finally. Did you lose your... Indiana I lost my sense of smell for like a week and a half back when I had... No, none no? of that shit. Nothing. It was the weirdest... Yeah, that was man. the weirdest thing ever. Sense of taste too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taste? No, taste, taste, smell, I didn't nothing. I any of that I kept, I kept testing negative but i knew i was fucking sick i knew fucking yeah I, but also i got the cheap ones from fucking amazon so yeah like, <laughs> the contract over here bro yo is it gonna be weird like we're gonna look back one day and be like yo those two years of like wasted time yeah. is that Idiots. how we gonna look back at it you think our perception is so actually messed wait, up if you really stayed at home because i mean they had the whole like you gotta be home at 10 o'clock i was all hanging out at no i mean we, i i was i was responsible but i still live my life but i feel like you look back like there are people that i haven't seen in a while and i feel like it's been a minute like yo i haven't seen you since 2019 like People on the East Coast or other yeah, places, yeah. like, and you're like, yeah, that's right. Two years, just like people look different shit when you see them. I, I see people. I haven't seen people penis. in three yeah. years. COVID yeah. penis, bro. There's people I haven't seen in four years, five years, but I interact with them on on social media every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I see them, I don't really like. I don't feel like I haven't seen this motherfucker in a long time. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. Yeah. I just saw his stupid ass pose a minute ago. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. No, it's true. Suffering from COVID dick. And that's bro. like family members too. Like, think about it. Like, back in the day, like, you only, like, your parents or grandparents probably only saw, like, your aunt or uncle or grandpa, like, once a year. Like, once a year, like, Christmas Eve dinner. And it's like, yo, they didn't see that person's face, like, all year. We see social media every oh, day. Yeah. I, was doing a, a do bit of, I was doing a bit about that. I said that your biggest birthday is when you're two. The whole family's there. Yeah. I mean, there's people, there, there's everybody's there. If you look at the photo of your two year old birthday, you're right about there's that. There's people that were sweaty ass foreheads. Yeah. You could tell they were doing coke. Yeah. yeah. They were getting yeah. fucked you're up. Right. There's people in that photo that your parents probably never saw again. Yeah. Like your parents' oh, yeah. fucking bowling friends or some yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. No, sure. And with family home. members that, that you disowned, like, yeah, you fucked them now. And yeah. Oh, they broke up after the wedding. Yeah, you're right about that. Never saw again. My, my, I never saw Theo Frank ever again. <laughs> my son's birthday, my son turned two on uh, right around the Super Bowl. So we had his birthday party at a Super Bowl party at the same time. So, yeah, you know, two, two birds, one stone. So everyone that showed up for my Super Bowl party was probably like, yo, why are there fucking dinosaur decorations yeah. everywhere? But no, you're right. Everyone, two years old, everyone at that point. We were just talking the other day, like, COVID, how it just messed everything up, bro. You know damn well that we would have never watched that Tiger King shit if it wasn't that we were trapped and with nothing else to do. Yeah, because you know, the second one, that, thing, that yeah. second one came out and no one watched that shit. There's a yeah. conspiracy that COVID started by the Tiger Kings. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, so. seriously. You know, the, they I make everything a movie right away. Like if it was the '80s, that Tiger King movie when it came out, till we were old. Oh yeah. yeah. That's you know the, all, the only two people that pro prospered were Joe Exotic and that naked black guy that was all over and social media, and he died. I know. Yeah. He, that guy. was actually our COVID Felipe, you yeah, look like you don't know who we're talking about, bro. No, I, oh. I saw that guy because I'm, I'm, I'm picturing Tom Segura's face on him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's what's funny is that that guy, the, the crazy part is he's the most most famous naked black dude of all time, yet he doesn't know it because he died before it became popular. Yeah. Isn't that wild to think this guy died? Like He did what, what, like one or two porns because he was like down on his luck? Or Guys, pictures, on, or he he's just sitting posed. on the edge of the bed with his junk hanging out. Picture. Every time your buddy's like, hey, you see this crazy story? You click on it. Yeah. The guy's, it's my that dad. Guy, yeah. That guy died. That shit. Never knowing that. No joke. The it world still doesn't knows go him. away. That's yeah. still, that's that's Abraham still. Lincoln made a log cabin out of his dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when 50 Cent was upside down at the Super Bowl, I saw someone do, it was 50 Cent, his dick was 50 yeah, Cent upside was, down. That was a good one, bro. Like, I mean, that guy Never died. Over, that was a good, I seen he, that one, but I just couldn't. <laughs> oh, did you see the COVID test one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that was, was the last good that one. That was the last good one. The one was the one you posted after January 6th when they shot that lady. Oh, it was 
it was a meme of, of Michael Jordan when he was talking about the Pistons. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. You, you know what? Uh, I took that personal. I took that personal. <laughs> but the one he had was Michael Jordan, but it had a bullet head. Yeah. They showed her. I don't give a fuck. We're gonna go in. I don't care who's stopping. Me. Then they go. They cut to Jordan, and I took that personal. Oh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> it was, it was a bullet. Serious yeah. question, man. Like, as a comedian, do you ever look at how funny the internet is and how the internet wins with those memes so fast? And does oh, it yeah, make you bro, step your game up because you're like, yo, these people are people so are funny. I don't. I try to. Yeah, I, I don't exactly. Come, I don't, I, they're funny, and I don't compete with them because you can't. They're, they're working. They're, they're writing and thinking faster because these guys are plumbers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're construction workers. You know, you're not you're not gonna cancel a janitor who's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you it's know a good I mean? point. Yeah, so they just throw it out there with well, no regard. What I saw was this woman, and I do it as a bit now. There's a woman in a wheelchair, and she's hot, and she does makeup tutorials, and she always talks about how hard it is to be in a wheelchair now, and how fucking sometimes she don't put the brakes on the wheelchair when she gets in the car, and the wheelchair rides away. <laughs> And she has to go chase it. Then the bottom of all that shit, bro. Somebody wrote, I'll make that pussy handy clap. Well, yeah. That's, that's, a right. that's a Calgon commercial. And you can, yeah, take that me away. That comment had more likes than her video. Hilarious. Oh, that comment went viral without her. That shit is funny. Internet you can't compete savvy, with that. Bro. Right. But, that, but that's all in the moment. It happens. In the right? moment. Yeah. So smart Three days, people. you know, three days go well, by. So, well, the difference between me and those people could be in the moment funny. But I'm always in the moment going to be funny. Yeah. No, right. Of course, man. Some people are f uh, funnier behind the computer, dog. I have, a, I have a story. But, you know, you're definitely more on guard than you used to be, you know, on what you say and what you do just based on the culture we're living in. I remember it was, it was in the early 2000s, and we would have famous comedians on our, our radio show. But, again, no one gave murders. yeah, <laughs> no one gave that much of a shit. And I'm not going to call him out because I'll tell you why. There was a dude. He came on our show. And he was super popular. He was like, yo, man, I love when girls eat my asshole. Let's <laughs> just right? say it was a comedian you mentioned recently. Uh, like the, a very hour. famous comedian, that's right? How, that's how COVID started. Yeah. Dude, in the He's like, I love it. I'm like, yo, people eat your ass. He's like, I love that shit. He was very candid was is my jelly. point, right? With his legs up or what? Yo, <laughs> he came on our show a few years later and he had, you know, he was more famous. It, was, it wasn't Jim Norton. It was, he, had, he had all these people with let's him. Let's just say it was someone right? you said you And I was with. like, dude, I'll never forget, man. You guys had us rolling. This was a while ago, but yeah. remember you were telling us how you like they were eating your ass when he said he was like I, I'm like yeah but I wasn't catching on right away I'm like no it's you and he's like yo I never said that I don't have and a bubble like, I don't have a bubble bro <laughs> yeah. I swear, I my, 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 yeah. my point is you can't say what you used to or what you were yeah. willing to say back then and that's when I that was the you know moment I realized it like oh shit I could be ruining this dude's sponsor right now. He's like he's with Disney now or something. Yeah. I don't know. You know, it's wild, it's wild to think though. You talk about the memes and how these people are quick, but they're like you know they're usually guys that have nothing yeah. to lose. Like you know, if a construction guy makes this totally offensive meme, yeah. mm -hmm. no one gives a fuck. You cancel a plumber, but my, my toilet's clogged. You cancel me. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. You know what it? Joe the plumber over here. You know yeah. what it also replaced though? Like growing up, you That's, probably had an uncle yep. that came over and told you the dirty joke, yeah. and you loved that shit. I had but, we all had that. You know like it now it's the too? meme, bro. It replaced. Uh, you know, you see these memes and you pass around. It really is like. Remember, like newspapers had like comics. Yeah, yeah. Like that shit. The funny. Looking back, how unfunny that is compared to a yeah. meme now. Like, oh, Marmaduke or uh, the and Family that Circle. Yeah. Or yeah. That was and what it the, that was fast. Like, yeah, Ziggy. Ziggy Did you have was Ziggy? Ziggy was the equivalent of like. So our grandparents said Ziggy was Beetle funny. Bailey, Be yeah. Bizarro. But that was people Mom got paid a lot. People, yeah, people got. Paid I love the of Far Side, bro. Yeah, some I of them were funny that. here and there, but for the most part, think about it. Like memes Calvin today, and Hobbs. so yep. much funnier than that. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Dude. I try to think something that was funny when I was a little kid that was hardcore, like viral. When you were little, Those yeah. but we're the same age. You fucking bring it down, and the, the girls yeah. are naked. <sighs> yeah, what was what was <laughs> those pens? Oh my, the pens. Yeah, the yeah. pens. The pens. Yeah, where the, yeah the naked girl. If you had yeah. one of those. X-ray glasses. Uh, you get expelled, huh? Well, what would what's up, Rizzo? What you think about that? What bro? would be no, viral? I'm trying to think of something that was like viral around my time. I mean, you, uh, like you know what I remember? Cup was fucking big. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but uh, before into like pre-internet, like yeah. I do remember you mentioned Dane Cook before Torgasm yeah. and shit. I remember his cassette was fucking being passed around and shit. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, shit yeah, like that. Like yeah, of course. Eddie Murphy, definitely. George you know? Carlin. Look, viral around. back then was like yeah. you were copying that shit. I remember people driving around playing comedy albums loud. Yeah. 
Oh, do you remember like back in the day, like they were like pranks for popular, like Jerky Boys and stuff? Yeah, like that. Oh, that, yeah, was, yeah. Like, that was like that was yeah. for a minute. That was very that was popular. Vi- that was super Are these viral. Two cocks gonna hold. Yeah. You know, speaking of uh, comedy albums, how you I feel you about say speaking of two cocks? Speaking <laughs> of cocks, guys, <laughs> let's whip them out. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, Louis C.K. Bro, he won album of the year. What are, what are your comic thoughts on that? I should have won. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. No, bro. but we're talking about cancer. Like, is there such a thing if you can come back and you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> If you come back and win, if you come back and win that shit, uh, who knows? <laughs> no. I think um, his album was badass though. Uh, dude, the thing is, I think just like I think slowly it's gonna just come back. The pendulum swing another way. It's like too much of a whole. A I agree. And then from like the liberal side of the left, where it's supposed to be everything's like art. Let's fucking execute it. Yeah. And like boom, you got these Hollywood creeps. You know, doing. But it's weird. Like, who voted? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, no but one here. Don't they say that right? the Academy's younger now? There are millennial votes yeah. in there as well, or you know, in the Grammy. So yeah, I mean, I, 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 I didn't know shit. he won till later, but there were a lot of people who were angry that he won. Because it was the day after, right, or the the weekend after. Was talking it was a long game. meme. How can said, this guy it was win? Alec Baldwin. Exactly. It was a meme. Alec Baldwin can shoot somebody and still be free. Will Smith can slap somebody. Louis C.K. can pull his dick out and win a Grammy. <laughs> and win a Grammy yeah. award. I gotta, I gotta catch us. So I gotta catch. Some, I gotta put someone on fire. Bro. Yeah, I got, I got He's an original guys. mass shooter, huh? When, when was the last time? <laughs> That's yeah, but a thing. Yeah. When was the last time you genuinely got upset about something? Because we always feel like the over, like it's just Nothing, fake. Dude, it's I'm fake anger. Up. Like when everyone gets angry at stuff, artificial, we always bro. talk about it. it's like artificial fury. I'm triggered man, because like the angry, industry like, is. And that's yes, how that's a, no, no, like, there's, a great there's, point. There was nothing that any celebrity, comic, actor, celebrity, athlete. Nothing where I've been genuine, like, man, that son of a bitch. Like, I, wait till they triggered. reinstate Trump to Twitter. Why? I was triggered yeah. when fucking the media's trying to push fucking Leah Dunham on us. Oh, oh. <laughs> they, they didn't try. They did. And she's still there, bro. bro. She, they yeah. did. And she's still there, bro. Yeah, she ain't no. gone anywhere. That is a but I But I'm fascinated because I know, like, any guys that I would hang with or friends with, I, none of them would ever be mad at anything. That's why when people are triggered by stuff, I'm like, who's mad? Like, when you see something, like, people are enraged. I'm like, Who, what people? Mary Swanson in Wisconsin. You know it what? It used to be like if you get one complaint, that, that equals how many people, Lisa? 100,000. 10,000. 10,000. Oh, like one? That. that was the FCC. That was the FCC yeah. rule. But, but Bill, Bill Burr, too, dude. Bill Burr, I think I heard him in an interview talking about like, he's like, yo, I tour around the country. People don't care. It's a small minority yeah, yeah. of people. The people that are at the care. shows don't care, dude, because yeah. they want to be entertained. Yeah. That's I what mean, I think. Again, context. This is a fucking joke, right? So. Truthfully, if, if you said something... That offended people. I could promise you, this person that would get mad wasn't even a fan of yours to begin with. Uh, so it's like, who's getting mad? Right? Like, CD, yeah. Never saw, wasn't even like cancel right from your station for saying nappy hoes, nappy headed hoes. No, that was uh, I miss in New York. Yeah. Oh, I miss, yeah, I miss that's in New right. York, I miss Don in New York I miss. City. Yeah. Nappy yeah. Before that, it was uh, um, the the Kramer, the sports guy, the geek, the Greek. Oh, oh Jimmy yeah, the Greek. Yeah. Yep. And, Jimmy the Greek. And, and Kramer. Uh, Kramer. When he went on a major yeah, that was, that was a hard tirade, right there, yeah, right? that was a hardcore one. He was, bro. he was OG canceled was a, a long time ago. From the Dodgers general manager, and um, Campanis, he said something about how how black people are, you know, are, are faster and white people are smarter. Something about them they can't swear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those are the originals, fired. the OGs. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I so, sometimes when someone says something, you're like, was it like? Did they say something incorrect? Like, yeah. Yeah. So, but sometimes <laughs> people are so stupid. <laughs> And like maybe they maybe they 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 they're, 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 they have fun, you know, with the people they work with, and they joke like that. But then they take it to a, um, the ra- the studio. Like this black lady, this white lady, and they're showing this monkey gorilla, and she's next to a black dude. And then she goes, they're showing this gorilla, and then she goes, "Hey, that's cute." Then she says, "She kind of looks like you, huh?" Yeah, and then she's like, "Oh, yeah. kind of." And then the next day, she's crying, apologizing. apologizing. Mm-hmm. They're gonna fire her. And yeah, TikTok is insane. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta think about it, man. Do you, do you have to? Yeah. Do you run your shit by everybody, your whole crew, everybody before you do some Hell shit? No. no, you don't. I, I, even your I, wife? I, I had a joke about Planet of the Apes because I, I remember I had a joke as to yeah, man, they cut a lot of scenes from that movie, but there was a there was a scene where they were playing dominoes. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan said some Planet of the Apes yeah, jokes, remember, right? That way it went yeah. wrong. Because I remember, because um, in the beginning of the, of the, of the Planet of the Apes, the original one, yeah. they show them doing all kinds of human stuff. Yeah. And added more stuff to it. 
Yeah, no, you got to be careful. You got to be careful because, again, you know who would get mad at that? Not someone that supports Felipe. Someone that never probably knew yeah. you. Right. Would be like, I never hey, saw like, one, you never, yeah. never saw one line that I said. Yeah. Manny with blue hairs in the game. Crazy. What's up, <laughs> fool? Where can they find you, Martin Rizzo, in that hat? Comic Martin Rizzo. I, I forget what gave me this hat. It was on the podcast. Let me see. Miami. I think I oh, yeah. that. That's a cool hat, bro. I don't know what it is. I like Your it. Your hardcore. Where can people listen to your podcast? Yo, we're on Patreon awesome. Monday through Thursday. We do a free show on Twitch on Friday, but patreon.com slash Cavino and Rich. And we do Fox Sports Radio on the weekend. So foxsportsradio.com. We're on every Sunday night, yeah. but everything's so, at Covino and Rich, at Steve Cavino. At Rich Davis. Now, again, it's Patreon. It's, it's, uh, it's fun because it's... Like you said, you create your own little community of people. And, and you guys are just on Patreon or every platform as well? Uh, Patri- uh, yeah, we do well, our Friday show, we put on all platforms. Okay. But Monday through Thursday on Patreon. And, that's where uh, we talk the most shit. Right? Yeah. No, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. It's crazy. It's crazy to be like, yo, I'm doing a show. And it's a you know, it's a paid platform, but for the price of like a cup of coffee. You, Hell, you know, yeah, real, we, we're on four out, four days a week. Two to three hour shows every day. Like, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Making what? that money, dude. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, people want to know if they their contracts are tied together and if they ever get tired of each other. Oh, oh that's a great question. I'll let you handle Our contract, that. You know what? Um, we've always, I, I, it's like, uh, traditionally, we've always had very similar contracts. Right. Very similar. Like, maybe a little off here or there, but for the most part... <clears throat> That, but we realize we sort of we need, we need each other because we're better. We're, I feel like solo we could do good things, but together we're better. So yeah. it's almost like all the drama you could have with relationships and other people. Like we try to keep no drama with us. Like right now, our uh, Patreon, we're partners, right, with our producer. And as far as we still do music at Sirius XM, so that's separate contract. So okay. we are just partners yeah. now in a business doing what you guys do here. But, if you're, but if that's you're, why it's a pleasure hanging out with you because usually we're hosting this shit. So yeah. to kick back, have a drink, and just chill with you guys, but if you're, bro. If you're a duo yeah, on man. radio, TV, or anything, like there's so many people break up and fight because there's, you know... I'm the actual star. Yeah, like... Yeah. We heard that recently. We were at a meeting and so We were at a meeting with you're some... Right, man. With some that's the downfall. Like honey. No, but that's the downfall no, always. We, we, we were at yeah. a meeting recently and someone's like, yo, you guys, we got big ideas for you guys. You know, those type of meetings. Uh, and, uh, big cigar meetings. Yeah. And uh, they were like, well, you know, a lot of other duos... I And they would tell stories like people would pull him aside like, he's stealing my jokes or he's doing this or he... We have never, I mean, at least I don't think, we've never had those conversations because we're like, yo, if we're we winning fight, together. Though, but we fight. Like a couple. Have you heard of yeah. those guys, Martin and Lewis? Yeah. I'm going to tell you what happened between right. you guys. <laughs> no, but like, are yo. Are you Batman or are you Robin? Like, right. 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 I'm just thinking like, yo, if we, do, if we do well together, we're both going to make money and have fun. And that's, yeah, you know. Dude. You ever think sometimes like your whole life you've done fun things for a living and other people do like real stuff and you feel like, yo, is, am I like tricking everyone? I yes. know, right? I think of that all the time. You've like, been fooled. Yeah, you've been yeah. fooled. Donald's going to come through. You're fired. Like one day someone's going to be like, yeah, you got to have like a real job now. Like, no. By the way, we were talking about our appearance on this show, on, on our show today, and it was an over under of how many times fool was said today. And I, I wonder if hey, we passed fool. the over. Yeah, someone's got to, I said fool, it, fool. it was yeah. said what at was 50 the fool, over what under. Was the fool and I counter? Guarantee, well, you just said like, yeah, oh, yeah. What's up, fool? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Fool's don't forget wild. to watch us April 29th. This week at Tacoma, Washington. Don't forget that. And don't forget to watch them on Patreon, people, yep. and Rodrigo Yaman podcast. Thank you very much, fool. Tell them what's up, fool. Adios, Yo, adios fools. Adios. Thank you, man. <laughs> what's up, fool?